Oh, it could be a monster. Is he on there? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's Colin and Jay. We have got some awesome weather today. We have overcast conditions. Yesterday, we had a pretty serious thunderstorm that just came and wreaked a bunch of havoc all upon <laughs> the homestead and the lake out here. But that's all right, because today we are going to take advantage of the nice conditions and do some catfishing in a way that we haven't done so in forever. It yeah. feels like we're actually going to be going out and setting some noodles right there. What Jay's got. We got a whole <laughs> bucket full of noodles right here. We made these. I don't know, a couple years ago, and we use them periodically, but just not all the time. Most of the time when we do, like, just, you know, going to catch catfish for food, we usually use, we usually use limb lines, but we decided to mix things up, and we've got... Noodles. Yeah, we got noodles. <laughs> we've got about two or three dozen of them. I think maybe two dozen. Looks more about two dozen of them, but we're going to get some bait, and we're going to scatter them around out here in the lake, and we're going to see what we can catch. Hopefully this all goes well. Hopefully we're able to catch some big catfish. Hope you guys are excited for today's episode. If so, you know what to do. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, Unless we get some catfish today. Let's go! So we're out here looking to get some fresh bait. Shad is usually the best bait to use out here. So we're going to throw this cast net around. See if we can get some. There's some out here flickering. And at any moment could land on a big school of them. The water is very mur murky from the storm yesterday. So I'm not able to visually see the schools. But we're going to throw around until we find some. Oh. <laughs> oh wow. First throw. I was not expecting that to be honest guys. But look at that. Wow. That's that all we a, need. That is a mess of bait right there. That is all we need. Hey, we got a gold shiner too. Look at that. That dude right there might be tasty. We'll definitely bait him up. Heck yeah. That is all the shad that we need. Let's transfer them into this bucket here. That right there should work. What do you think? Oh yeah. That looks super juicy, lively, and we got plenty of them. All right, let's load everything up into the canoe. Let's head that way and let's see if we can catch the catfish. Okay, so we're out here on the lake now. We're about to drop some noodles out, but first let's show you how we have these set up. So right here we have a piece of a pool noodle and attached to it we have some drop line. And then we also have a circle hook on it. And then at the bottom of the line, we have a weight. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a piece of shad on the hook. Nice and slimy. We're gonna double it up. Then once you have your bait on there, all you do is just throw it out. And it will get, the weight will pull it down to the right depth and hopefully it will catch catfish. Hopefully so. Hopefully we get like two dozen catfish on these noodles. Yes. We have about 20 more noodles left, I think. So we're going to throw them all out there and hopefully we can catch like 20 catfish. Okay, now we've got this big old live shiner baited up and we're going to toss him out just right here. back here in some swampy stuff now. This looks good, looks really good. Normally we have better luck doing this at nighttime, but I'm thinking with the cloudy conditions and just with all the bait fish out here, that we're gonna have some success today. I can just feel it, I can feel it. noodles out now all we have to do is wait so I think we're gonna go inside for a little bit and then we'll come back out here and see how many we got I'm gonna throw this out there to chum up the water <laughs> <laughs> even though it's nowhere near our noodles <laughs> we have a big spread out so surely we'll catch something yeah all right we are back out here the weather conditions have changed quite a bit the clouds are still kind of here for the most part but it is very warm very warm, but we're still thinking we might have caught some fish. We are pulling up to our first noodle and it seems very out of place. Um, 
Hopefully there's a fish on it. What was that splashing? Weird. Ah, uh, nothing. <laughs> it was out of place, but seemed like we would have had one. Okay, so I don't know if we're going to rebait them or not. I think we're just going to run through and check them all first. I'm just going to set this guy back right here. And uh, if we don't catch anything, we'll contemplate rebaiting them. But if we catch them, we'll probably pick all these meals up because we would have already um, achieved our goal, which was catching some catfish for dinner. So I'm just going to let sit there for the time being. We're going to go to all of these upcoming noodles and see if we caught anything. Okay, guys, so we were uh, checking our noodles, and we noticed the one that we baited the big shiner on was out of place. And I think we found it. It was this red one. Oh, yeah. This, oh my gosh, whatever is on this, if he's still on there, traveled like 200 yards. Feel something? Mm. What's it well, feel like? kind of caught in the lily pads. Just no. pull, just pull it up. Feel anything? I'm not feeling anything. Oh gosh, yep, there's a fish. There's a fish on there? There's a fish. Oh man, is he huge? I don't know. I'm caught in all these lily pads. Oh my goodness. Oh man. Whatever this Ooh. fish is, he ate like a seven inch shiner. Like not even lying. Are you gonna feel swimming? Mm. Does it feel like a fish or a turtle? I don't know. It's not really. Is it biting back at all? No, it's not moving. But I did feel something move for a second. Okay, well don't give it any slack. What would a swim is for? I mean, it came from all the way over there. It was definitely this red one. What if it's a 20 pound bass? Oh, she's standing up. <laughs> it's a turtle. Where's it coming from? Do you feel like he's right underneath you? I don't know, maybe there's not a fish on here. You want to feel it? Yeah, I want to feel it. It feels like something's pulling back. Oh, there he is. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I wasn't videoing you. <laughs> is that what it was, a catfish? Look at that, here he goes. Woo! <laughs> Dang. First fish of the day is a nice channel catfish. Whoa, you just had to pull a little bit harder, Jay. I was pulling pretty hard. Wow, that catfish traveled a long distance over here to get stuck in these pads. That's, That's a really a good nice one. one. That's a really nice one. He ate that big old shiner. I wonder if you can still see the fish in there anywhere. Nope, I don't think he got it or maybe he already swallowed it. This was definitely the one that had that shiner. That is so cool. That is a great eaten sized channel cat. That's fantastic. That's exactly what we were after today. I got excited though when you couldn't pull it up. I was like, man, we got a giant fish or like something giant, gigantic, massive turtle or something. I thought it was a turtle. But hey, that's what we were nice. after. That's what we were after. Let's see if we can catch a couple more. We'll throw them in the boat and we'll see if we can catch a couple more fish. Okay, this noodle's swimming. We just saw him swimming off. <laughs> Don't know what's on here. Don't know how big he is. Can you get to him? Why are you moving? Are we on a stump? Maybe you can, here, just grab the noodle with the stick. There you go. What we got? Is it big? Big? Is it big? Uh, it doesn't feel big! Oh! <laughs> oh, bullhead! Hey! Well, a chubby one. A chubby bullhead. Well, what, have you ever seen a bullhead that wasn't chubby? I guess not. They're always stocky looking <laughs> little, little dudes. Not exactly what we're after. We're definitely, you know, after catfish. But we're after the big old channel cats. That guy's pretty good eating, but I think we'll probably throw him back. What do yeah. you think? Let's get a good look at him though. Look at that. It's a good size one. Yeah, you can tell it's a yellow bullhead because he has the white uh, chin barbels. Very unique to the bullheads. And because he's kind of yellowish colored. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Good job, Jay. We got two catfish on the board. Victory. See you, boy. Woo. Good job. Number two. Okay, we just found one of our noodles way, way out there. And so we're going to go chase it. Hopefully there's a big fish on it. Yeah, I think that fish traveled further than the first catfish we caught. Yeah. Let's go get him. We are rapidly approaching our noodle. Let's see if Jake can get this one out of the pads. That first one was a little bit troublesome. You going left side or right side? Okay, here we go. Oh, it could be a monster. Is he on there? Oh, 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 oh. oh swing him in the boat, swing him in the boat. Man, I was expecting it to be bigger than I that. I know. Not a bad one though. This little dude traveled so far. Yeah. Holy That's cow. exciting though. Man, it's so much fun. There's, there's, this is like a you know a totally different level of fun. <laughs> Coming and chasing these noodles around. Man, hold that big guy up. That's a nice one. It is a nice one. About the same size. Maybe it's a smidge bit smaller. I think the, yeah. 
This one's smaller yeah, than one, the first one. Yeah, that one's a little bit smaller, but that's a great eating sized catfish. And I think that we have another one because I see another new one that's out of place. So hopefully there's a fish on it. <laughs> Let's go chase them. All right, so this purple noodle is butted up right next to the base of this big cypress tree. Ooh, something's, something's got that thing, I think. Can she do it? What's it feel like? Feel like something on there? Yep. <gasps> oh God, what is that? Oh, 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 it's another bullhead. Oh, he's dead though, isn't he? Is he? He looks dead. Is he alive? I think he's alive. Oh, he just looks like a well, zombie almost. I don't know. Maybe I don't I guess either. He's dead. Well, if he's dead, we'll take him. <laughs> Circle hook done got him. Right where you want him to get him though, right in the corner of the mouth. Hey, bullheads ain't bad eating. We'll take him. That's three catfish, we're doing good. And this noodle here is like kind of pulled up next to the tree too. But I'm fearful they might have another bullhead. The bullhead's uh -oh. like the swamp. It's not really moving around like a big old channel cat. It's really not moving around at all. We'll see, let's go. Ain't a wasp nest, is there? Uh, I don't <laughs> see any. You gotta be careful when you're doing these limb lines or running these noodles underneath these trees because these wasps will get all up in them. And they will jack you up. I can't tell. Oh, we oh. got another, what the heck, he's dead too. What? What the heck? Called that though, I told you, we might have another bullhead. Why are they dying? He swallowed it a little bit more. Yeah, he swallowed it pretty good. <laughs> Bait's still on there though. Why are these dudes dying? That's like never happened before. Uh-uh, it's weird. Bullheads are usually pretty hardy, but hey. Another catfish. He was gonna die anyways, I guess. <laughs> or maybe not, we probably let him go. But hey, we got two bullheads and two channel catfish. We're doing good. I mean, this is kind of a lazy man's fishing. Well, it's not that lazy. But, you know, not a whole lot goes into it. You just gotta get your bait, throw your noodles out, relax, and then just come get your fish. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a fun form of gro grocery shopping. How about that? We'll yeah. say it like that. A fun form of grocery shopping. If you like catfish. Man, this is so pretty out here too. Yeah. And a lot safer to come out here instead of going to the grocery store. Grocery store, you're gonna get germs. You know, the germs you don't want. Out here, you just might get a little bit of duckweed on your hands or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's a catfish slime. This one doesn't look too crazy. Yeah. But you never know. It might be like pulled next to a log or something. Here, let's see. Can you reach it? Nothing. Uh, Still got our bait, uh, I think. No. No. Nope. Nothing. Nothing. Well, I'm pretty sure we've checked all of the noodles now, uh, unless there's one that has swam off, you know, out of sight. But hopefully, we'll find that one. If that is the case, we'll go back and make sure we have all of them accounted for once we um, get through scanning the area. But we caught five catfish, that's pretty good. You know, we caught yeah. three bullheads, two channel cats. And um, you know, I guess we should have kept that first bullhead. We could have had five total catfish on the boat, but that's okay, four is good. Plenty for Jay and I to cook up for supper. But you know, that was the goal of today's video was to come out here, show you guys another form of catfishing and another great way to do some organic grocery shopping. Anyways, we're gonna make sure that we don't have any additional catfish on these noodles. And if we don't, then we will see you guys back at the house and we will begin processing these fish for the dinner table. Our catfish have been on ice for a little while and they are ready to be cleaned. So let's get them out of the cooler. Let's get them cleaned up and ready to eat. Got the fish all cut up, now they're ready to be cooked. Oh, this looks so good. 
good. We have our fries, we have fresh okra from the garden, and we fried it, and we have fried catfish, Ooh. and it looks really dang good. Really good. <laughs> Another one of these all fried meals, but that's okay. We don't eat this all the time, so it's nice when we get to sit down and just indulge in all of our favorite fried foods. Let's give this thing a taste test okay. and go with the catfish. Catfish. This stuff is always good. This is the beer battered uh, Bass Pro Shop Uncle Buck's fried seasoning, fish fry seasoning. Mm -hmm. It's always so good, and this catfish is fresh. It's gonna be delicious. Oh yeah. Dang. Oh. That stuff never fails. Always good. Can't go wrong. That's delicious. Let me mm. get a little bite of okra while we're sitting here doing this. Real good. I was a little bit worried, so I picked the okra today, and it was like, <laughs> it was super big. Mm. You know, you're supposed to pick them, it's kind of small. It was really big, but hey, that's good. Mm -hmm. That's really good. I sure am <laughs> glad whenever a plan comes together. Yes. You know, we anticipated being able to go out there and catch a few catfish, but that's never a guarantee. We had good bait, set our baits up in good spots, and we did catch some catfish, and we cleaned them up, cooked them up, and, and it was they're a delicious. Perfect amount for dinner. Yeah, perfect amount. We have a little bit, probably a little bit of leftovers. Maybe we can eat some tomorrow, or if we just get hungry later on. It's just the perfect amount. That's a big old bush and it is shaking like crazy. Oh man, oh man, another tree shaker. <laughs> another tree shaker. Oh, it's, oh, big it's a big Whoa. one, what the? Tonight, Jay and I are gonna be going out on the lake behind us and running some limb lines for catfish. Now, if you've never heard of limb lines or seen them in action, you've come to the right place because today I'm gonna show you guys how to set them up and show you guys how you can catch a bunch of catfish with them. Fingers crossed on the catch in part. But anyways, it's a very easy and effective way to catch a bunch of catfish for the dinner table, and it's a ton of fun, and you can really catch some big fish. So let's jump into the rigging process real quick. It's very, very simple. You only need a limited amount of gear. So as far as gear goes, you're gonna need only a couple of essential items, one being your drop line, and the other being your hooks. You can add some additional terminal tackle like swivels or bells to your limb lines, but basically this is all you need to catch fish, except for, I guess you need bait to bait on the hooks. Anyways, so when you're choosing drop line, you're gonna choose between braided line or corded line. I like to use braided line. I feel like it's a lot more manageable and it goes through the eyelets of the hooks and it's just a whole lot more smooth. And then as far as color goes, there's a ton of color options available. I like to keep it simple and use dark colors because I feel like I get more bites on darker color drop line and it's less visible to other anglers and they can't just like swoop in and steal your catfish from underneath you. And then as far as hooks go, you're gonna want just a basic, you know, just a straight shanked hook with a big eyelet that you can run the drop line through. These are just some laser sharp, three O'Shaughnessy little drop line hooks. Very, very nice hooks and they're very cheap. You, I got 40 of these hooks for like four bucks. Really, really nice hooks. And then you're gonna need something to attach your drop lines to for storage whenever you're taking them out in the body of water. So most of the time I like to store my limb lines like this, just on a notched piece of wood. Now these are, these are big limb lines. These are the big boys. These are my flathead limb lines. Let me down in the comment section if you'd like to see us put these bad boys to use and see if we can catch the big flatheads on them. We could definitely probably do that really soon. Anyways, these hooks are too big for out here and for the catfish we're going to be targeting today. But today, I'm going to be storing the limb lines with this little guy right here. I found this noodle and I cut some notches in it and it should work just fine. I wanted to use a piece of wood, but I couldn't find that around the house. So anyways, let me show you guys what you're going to do next. Now that you have all three of your essential items. Your drop line, your hooks, and your place to store them. Now the length that you make your limb line is going to be dependent on the depth of water you're fishing. Out here on the lake, I'm fishing anywhere between 5 to 8 feet deep. And so what I like to do is I like to set my line about, make my lines about six feet, six and a half feet. Just, this is my wingspan, just what I use, just to make sure they're all about the same length. And eventually what I'll do is I'll tie this up to a tree. And then depending on how deep it is, I can actually hang the line higher up on the tree to make sure my bait's not stuck on the bottom or make sure that it's not too high up in the water column, if that makes any sense. So this is where we're gonna start at, wingspan. And I'm just gonna cut this off. And most of the time whenever I'm making a bunch of limb lines up real quick, I'll just cut these all off really fast and then I'll tie my hooks on. But for time's sakes, We'll just do one so you guys get the idea of what these look like. So then once I have my line, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a loop in one end. And this is be very important because it makes it very easy to hang the limb line and take the limb line off of the tree branch once you're done fishing. So what we'll do, we'll just double up the line like this and we'll just tie a simple overhand knot. Now you don't want too big of a loop because you don't want it to get in the way. But like a three or four inch loop is perfect. So there's our loop. And then on this end, is where we will tie on our hooks. So let me get these hooks out. And like I said with the hooks, you want your hook to have a big eye hole so you can run this braided line straight through it without any issues. Nothing is more irritating than trying to run this thick diameter line through a small eye hole. This one's kind of frayed, so I had to wet it. Anyways, we're just gonna run that through the eye. And then as far as a knot goes, I just tie a simple clinch knot. I just twist my line up about four or five times, run my tag end back through that loop right there and then I just cinch it down. 
a little bit of a tag in. I've never had one of these knots fail me, and you really can't tie that many different knots with this braid line just because it's so thick. Anyways, there is our limb line. It was very, very easy. And so once you're gonna hang this up on a tree, you'll just wrap this around the tree, stick your hook through that loop, and cinch it on the tree, and then when you're ready to take it off, you'll pull it out the loop. That way you don't have to continuously cut and retie your lines onto trees, and you don't have to leave limb line material on the tree out there. And then to store my limb line for safekeeping, I will attach it to my noodle. I will just stick the hook into the noodle, and then I will wrap the line in these notches. And then once I make my next limb line, I'll just hook that hook onto this loop right here and continue wrapping. And I could probably put 20, 30, maybe even 40 on this one pool noodle. Keeps everything organized, keeps everything untangled for the most part. And it's just less you have to hassle with when you're on the water and trying to get things set up. So anyways, that is how you put together a limb line. They're very simple, very easy. I'm gonna make another 20, 25 or so of these, and then we're gonna head out on the lake and try to catch some catfish. Actually, we're gonna catch bait first, and then we're gonna take these out and try to catch some catfish. Wish us luck. Our desired bait fish for today is gonna to be some fresh shad. I see some skipping around outside of casting range with the cast net, but I bet some will swim into this area. Oh wait, there's some right there. Oh, <laughs> we hit the jackpot. Oh my goodness. But golly, that is way more shad than we are gonna to need tonight. Holy smokes. That is primo catfish bait right there, you guys. That is exactly what we were looking for. I'm gonna dump some of these in the bucket and I'm gonna let the rest of them go. Now that is what you want right there, guys. Bucket full of fresh shad. Now it's gonna take these guys, let's bait them up on some hooks, hang them up on a tree limb, and see what they'll catch. All right, we've got the pregnant lady loaded up, <laughs> ready Thanks. to do some catfishing. You yeah, excited? I am excited. Is the baby inside of you excited to go catfishing? I think, is this their first catfishing mission? This is their first catfishing mission. Oh so, man. Yeah, I think it's pretty excited. It's a big day for not in the- It's gonna love it. <laughs> and and you're paddling me around? Look at you. Oh yeah, look at me. I'm paddling you around. <laughs> How about Taking that? you to the catfish. Okay, yeah, so- I think we're gonna do pretty good tonight. Yeah, so, okay, so here's the plan. You see those trees over there? It's a swamp. And we're thinking about baiting the swamp up with these limb lines. We have not baited that area up in quite some time. So it's currently six o'clock on the dot and we have about an hour and 45 minutes of daylight and should be plenty of time to get all the limb lines baited up and we'll probably be able to run them maybe one or half of a time before it gets dark and then we'll probably run them one more time once it actually gets dark or I guess maybe an hour after dark maybe. We'll just see what happens but our goal is to I guess catch as many catfish as we possibly can on these couple of runs and we're going to try to maximize our opportunity by putting the limb lines in the best spot which is the swamp. So let's get out there find some good trees and let's catch them. So we're gonna make a couple of trees on our way to the swamp. So we'll have something to look at while we're making our way over there. This is a really nice tree. It's kind of isolated from the rest of them in some deeper water. So let me get one of these limb lines off. Let me show you guys how we hang these things up on the tree if you've never seen this before. So basically you wanna pick a good branch that's limber that a fish can pull on and get hooked up really well. So there's our limb line, the loop on one end, the hook on the other. Just go around the tree branch Make sure your tree branch is sturdy. Can't stress that enough. You don't want to put it on a dead branch because the catfish will break it off. And then you saw I just took the hook through the loop and I'm just cinching it onto the tree branch. Fish bites it, tree branch goes down and the tree branch recoils, hooks the fish and the fish can't get leverage and they can't get off. That's the beauty of a limb line. So we've got one of our fresh shad here and I just like to double hook them. One behind the head, one kind of underneath the dorsal fin and then you'll just simply toss it back in the lake let the stinky shad do all the work for you and hopefully when we return to this tree we'll have a catfish on there at least some sort of fishy creature i don't really care what we catch we'd like to catch some catfish obviously to bring home and eat but if we catch i don't know a bass or a gar or a grunnel it'd be fun
All right, it's gotten dark on us. We feel like enough time has elapsed for our baits to have attracted some fish to bite them. Fingers crossed. So we're gonna head out on the lake now and see what types of fish are on the line, if any. But I'm betting we have at least four. Ooh. That's my bet. You thinking over or under four? Ooh, I'll say over. Over four? Okay. So maybe five. <laughs> five? That'd be good. That'd be great. That'd be like 20% of the lines. We have 20 lines baited. So let's go out there and let's see how many catfish we got. And then potentially we'll bait them up again and we'll see if we can catch them later on tonight. First line's got a catfish, I think. Oh, it looks like a good one. Oh, wait, what is that? Is that a catfish or is that a drum? What is that? It ain't no catfish, is it? What is that? Oh, I'm scared. What is that? I'm scared. Oh, it's a big old drum. What the heck? Man, I have not caught very many drum on these limb lines I hear before. No. That's what I get for saying I don't care what I catch. Remember that? <laughs> Remember whenever I said that? Yeah. How about oh. it? Hey, at least he's easy to get off the hook. First fish of the night, a big old drum. At least we know we didn't get skunk. We did not, but we're not going to be eating that. I've, I've eaten some drum in the past and they are not great. What? Not They're my cute, favorite. Though. They are cute. Look at that. Cute. So cute. Good job, Jay. <laughs> hey, we're on the board. We're one for one. All right, I'm gonna let him go. All right, we're going to send this guy back. Drum roll, please. Bye, my friend. All right, well, we're going to have to get that line rebaited. Yeah. Look right in the middle of the screen, guys. There is a beautiful little broad-banded water snake hanging out in this grass mat. And along with the broad-banded water snake, maybe he won't get scared. If he does, then oh well, we have another cool creature. Let me show you this guy. Look at this big old guy. This is a monster banded sphinx moth caterpillar. Beautiful colors. This looks so crazy. And he's a big guy. How big he is. Huge. These guys turn into beautiful moths. So much life out here tonight. We've checked all of our swamp lines, and at the last one, we've got a fish on there. <laughs> and it looks like it's bigger than the last one. Mm, He's just swimming with it. Fish. What do you think? Is he... He's just swimming with it. How's it feel? He doesn't feel very big. Sling him. <laughs> oh, are you He's kidding me? Him. Are you kidding me? Dang. Hey, we got a catfish that bought the target species. <laughs> Ooh. Look at that. Looks like he swallowed the hook a little bit, didn't he? Yeah. Stick your finger in his mouth. No. <laughs> <laughs> you stick your finger in his mouth. No way, chick. These things, these guys bite so hard. Yeah, you wouldn't think so for a small little catfish, but these guys, they they chow down when you stick your finger yeah. in their mouth. I guess I'm sticking I'll my... I'll let you get it. <laughs> I guess I'm sticking my hand in there to get it out. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Dang, Jay, I thought we had a nice channel cat. I know. Oh well, only thing to do is debate the line back up and uh, see if we can get a second opportunity at one. All right, so we just rebaited this line like not too long ago and already has a fish on there. Ooh! Is it big? I it's shaking know. the branch pretty good. It's kind of a limber branch, but can't tell how big he is. Where is it? You got the line? Does he feel bigger than the last one? Feels bigger than the last one. Heck yeah. <laughs> but I... Sling him up. Woo! Oh, hey, hey! We done it. Right species. That's what we were after. He's not much bigger, but he'll keep. Nice catch, Jay. Yeah, I finally got a channel cat. Yeah, that was super easy. We haven't checked that many of our lines. We still have quite a few out here that are out in the open that maybe they're out here in the open. This tree's yeah. out in the open. So it's looking like it was a good call to spread our lines out from the swamp to out here in this open water because now we got a good channel cat. Good eating fish. Folks at home, that's what you want to see right there. Look at that. That line is pulling, that branch is shaking. We've got ourselves another fish. Hopefully it's a catfish. Hopefully it's a decent sized channel cat. Oh, look at that. Branch is going. Jay, ready to get that fish? I'm ready. Oh, shoot. Look at him go. I'm going to be shocked if this isn't a bigger channel cat. What are you talking about this? It's a bullhead. Man, <laughs> it ain't fighting like a bullhead. <laughs> Woo, here we go. Ready? Sling him. Oh, gosh. Woo! Yeah! Woo! It's not that big. It's not much bigger, but it is bigger. Wow. How about that? He sure was biting like a big fish. Yeah, he's kind of, you know, that branch really isn't that limber either. It's kind of a stiff branch. Hey, another channel cat. We will take that every day of the week. We've got two keepers now. One for me, one for you. One for me, one for you. That's all <laughs> we need, right? Oh, man. Oh, man. Another tree shaker. <laughs> another tree shaker. I have a feeling Woo. that if the last one wasn't that big, that this one's not going to be that big. Oh. Oh, but he's he's fighting. Look at Whoa. him. Look at that tree shaking. Holy flip. <laughs> oh, it's, oh big it's a big one. one. What the heck? 
Whoa! Whoa! That's what I'm talking about. Biggin! Biggin! Now that <laughs> is the channel cat we were after. <laughs> that fish is like three times Holy the size cow. of the other one. Wow! Yeah. yeah! That is a really nice channel cat, Jay. Yeah! I'm pumped about that. All right, we're on our second round of limb lines, and this line is the one we had the drum on, and as you can see, it is going off again. <laughs> and it feels decent. Hey, buddy. Yeah! Woo, another channel? Another nice little channel catfish. I guess he's probably the second largest one we have of the night. The first two were a little bit smaller, but they're still good. And that third one, obviously, was the biggest. But there we go. Another little channel catfish. How about that? Nice. I'll take that. That's awesome. <laughs> Guys, this little zone is money. This is the very next line. We've got another fish. And it's not shaking the branch very, very hard. Ooh. You kind of see it's pulling it. Usually that indicates the bigger fish. Here, I'm gonna turn my light off so y'all can see what's going on. Oh, where's that? I think it's a bigger fish. What do you think? I don't know. I don't know either. Okay. There we go. Y'all ready? Let's see the beast. Oh, it's a bigger fish. It is? Oh, God. Whoa! Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, let me get out of this tree. For those of you that don't know, I couldn't see a thing whenever I pulled this fish out of the water. And he's got some weird, like, growth or deformity on his bottom chin. Can y'all see that? Mm. Look at that. That's weird. What is that? His whole mouth is, like, deformed. Let's look down in there. Oh. Oh, wow. It's just uh, some sort of weird growth, I guess. That's very interesting. Heck yeah, what a strange looking catfish. <laughs> you know, honestly, kind of emaciated looking. When you take a look at it, let I me mean, look how big his head is. Like the rest of his body, he's super long, but really skinny. I honestly think that even though he's a bigger fish, I'm probably gonna let him go. There's not a lot of meat on there. Yeah, really not. It's really nice. It's kind of weird. What a strange looking catfish. Yeah, we're definitely going to let this guy go just because he is so scrawny. There's a bunch of shad out here, so hopefully he can find some more shad and fatten up. Poor guy. Okay, we'll see you later. Let me give him a little toss. We've got a swamp fish, guys. He feels very microscopic. <laughs> oh, no. The bullhead strikes again. Yep, <laughs> tiny little bullheads. Very little guy. I just saw the line just barely moving and I was like, mm, that might be a bullhead. <laughs> One would expect for there to be a bullhead out here in the swamp. But I've caught some big catfish over here too, so it's worth putting some lines in here. Nice. Alright, I'm gonna send him back. See ya. Here we go guys. Jay's getting back in the action. We have a really nice tree shaker here. I'm talking about that's a big old bush. And it is shaking like crazy. Mm. And it's got it's got to take a sizable fish to shake this branch. How's it feel? Got some weight. Got some weight. A little bit of weight. Oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. It's a good one. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Dang, Ooh. is that the biggest one? Well, mm, I don't think it's the biggest one, but it's a really solid fish. Ooh. It's too easy, Jay. <laughs> Way too easy. <laughs> That's awesome. This is by far the, one of the easiest ways to catch catfish, and we definitely recommend if you haven't ever tried to run limb lines to catch catfish for dinner. Definitely give it a try. Super easy and super effective. Super fun too. Super fun. I mean, because you never know what you're going to catch. At, right. any moment, at any moment, we could catch like a 15 pound channel catfish. And if we were baiting <laughs> these up with live bluegill, we could be catching flatheads possibly. But anyways, we're going to rebait this line and then we're going to call it a night. And then we're going to come back out here and check them first thing in the morning. But this is a good fish to end the night on. All right, we're back. It's the next day. So I went out there and I checked all of our limb lines this morning. And unfortunately, we had no more catfish on the lines. And I'll show you one thing that was pretty crazy. Take a look at this. Look at this hook. This hook mm. was completely bent and straightened out. And there was another couple of hooks out there that were also bent out. So what I'm realizing is I think I bought the wrong box of hooks. I normally get that brand, but I think I got a lighter wired variety. So definitely pay attention when you're buying your hooks so you get something that has a thick gauged wire. So when you hook up with those big fish, you don't lose them like we did last night. There's no telling what obliterated this hook. What was it? <laughs> we'll have to go back out there we'll again and uh, put some sturdier hooks out there and try again. I'm going to take all the hooks off these lines and replace them with sturdier hooks because that's unacceptable. We can't have that anymore. But anyways, we had a lot of fun catching the catfish last night and we're going to be cooking them up real soon. It is going down out here on the lake tonight. I'm out here with my good buddy and friend of the channel, Hunter. It's been a while since I've seen you out here, dude. Yeah, man. Been right. busy. <laughs> yep. Glad to be back out though. I know. I am jacked because we are out here. Y'all loved the last limb line catfish video so we're out here 
for some more of that action. I've already baited up quite a few of these lines. I've got the Primo bait once again. Eat one of these bad boys up so I can show you what we're using tonight for bait. Oh yeah, some crispy, fresh, big old green sunfish. They're actually bigger this time than they were last time we baited them up. So hopefully we can catch some monster flatheads out here. We've got perfect weather conditions. It's warm, got a light breeze, and we're both just oozing with confidence, right? Oh, we're gonna get them. How many do you think we're gonna catch tonight? All of them. All of them. He <laughs> said we're gonna catch all of them. Well, we got about 40 lines baited up, so we need to catch at least 40 to, to you know, theoretically or to to actually catch all of them. We have to catch the first 40 first, and then we'll bait them up and catch 40 more. Also, in case you're wondering, the Slab Queen will be joining us at some point. I'm not sure if she's gonna check in with us tonight or check in with us in the morning, but we'll have that extra good juju in the boat with us. So guys, if y'all are looking forward to that, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and uh, let's bait the rest of these lines. Let's go. Well, we just completed baiting up all of the limb lines. We're feeling really good about our spread. And as y'all can see back here, the sun is just about set. So we are going to head back in for a little bit. We're gonna grab a couple of extra jackets because it's actually starting to feel pretty chilly out here. And then we're gonna come back out here in a few hours and see if we have any fish on the line. If we need to rebate some, we'll rebate them. And then we're gonna come back out here tomorrow morning and uh, see if we have any big boys on the line. So we're doing two runs, maybe three runs. We'll see what happens, but we'll catch you guys when we get back out here. All right, guys, we are here at our first line. It looks like we might have a big flathead on here. It's bouncing like one. I am stoked. Oh, yeah, bro, it's heavy. Dude, it's big. Oh, it's a, it's a flatty. Oh, it's a flatty. Whoa! <laughs> Tree shaker. Dude, it's a good one. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Yeah, buddy! Whoa! Oh, yeah. That's how you do it right there, guys. First flathead of the night. Probably gonna be like a 10 or 12 pounder. Perfect fish to take home and eat for supper, tomorrow or for lunch at some point. That is awesome. We've only been checking them for about five minutes and we've already got one. Dude, how you feeling? Oh yeah. That is going? sick. All right, let's get him off of this and uh, let's go check some more lines. Oh baby. That might be a big one, guys. We have ran through about 20 of our lines. We didn't think there was anything on this one. And I just touched it and it went nuts. Look at that. That's a hefty one. That's definitely another flat boy. I ain't talking about flounder either. I'm talking about flathead. Oh gosh, look at that. He's upset. How big is this? Oh, pretty good, pretty good. Oh, yeah. Give me your mouth. Oh, God. Woo! I thought he was gonna be bigger, but he's a good one. Sure looks like he's gonna be Woo! Where's the hook at? Yeah! There we go, guys. Second flathead of the night. Looks to be a little bit bigger than the first one. The first one's actually still down here, so let's get a comparison. What do you think, dude? And I got him kind of flip-flopped. This one we just caught, this one's heavier. It's a little bit bigger than the one we just caught, it's bigger. Yeah, this one's heavier. He's probably 12, 13 pounds. I don't remember how big we said the first one was, but we'll get weights on him here when we get back to the ramp. But that's awesome. We have a few more lines we gotta check. We've had to rebait a few. So we'll have bait on there overnight so we can check them in the morning. And um, yeah, that's awesome. Nice flathead. The fun ain't over yet, guys. We got another fish on the line. Not sure what kind it is. It's kind of bouncing like a channel cat, but there's only one way to find out. We're gonna reach down there and pull him up. He looks angry. Got some head shakes. Oh, big channel. I'm just yeah, gonna flip yeah. him, dude. Yeah, baby. Let's go. Okay, is it a channel or a blue? Got the spots. At, let's look at that fin. Well, uh, not, all fin? Channel, not all channel cats got spots. That anal fin is rounded, so it looks like a big channel. 
Big old channel. Big channel getting ready to spawn. The flatheads, or not the flatheads, the blue cats, this to be a straight edge, but what you can do, you can count these fin rays. I forget how many is, we'll look it up and we'll count them just to make sure, but I think this is a channel catfish. And you can see his head, it's all swollen up like that. The channel catfish are getting ready to spawn and that's what the males will do. That's what they'll look like right before they do that. Hold them up. That's a hefty one. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh. Willie. Oh, he's coming for you, bro. He's probably seven or eight pounds. At least. Can't be mad at that. Wish there was a flathead, but we'll take the big channels. Woo. Okay, well, this is our last line in the spread. We have to check, and we got ourselves a little channel cat. Oh, that's a little guy. Woo. He's a little guy, dude. So the total comes out to two channel catfish and two flatheads on the night, but not bad at all. Still like a three pounder, but uh, we wish it was a big old, big old flathead. But hopefully when we return here in the morning, we'll have some big flats to mess with. But until then, we're going to get back to the house, get these fish on the ice, and uh, we'll catch you back out here in the morning, first thing. All right, as promised, we are back out here on the lake early this morning, checking the flathead limb line spread. And we've got our good luck charm, Big Boss. And as always, Hunter's up here <laughs> on the motor. We're checking all the lines. We've already checked like five and didn't have anything on them, but we have a big group up ahead that we're gonna check and we're feeling really optimistic about. Hopefully we'll have a big one on there. Hopefully just at least a couple more flat edges just to make this interesting. I know that Jay wants to wants to get wild and, and crazy and rip one up out of the lake. Pounder. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be crazy. If you catch a 50 pounder, I want you to swim off in the lake with it. Okay. That'd be really cool. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna mosey on around, hopefully not hit a bunch of stumps and hopefully just sling some kitties in the boat. Here we go, oh. fellas. Oh, we got a limb shaker. Yo, I think that's a flatty. Okay, how big does he feel? Oh, it's a nice one. It's a nice one. Don't boat flip that one. <laughs> okay, oh gosh. What am I doing? He is mad. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Oh, that's a nice one, Jay. I think it's bigger than the ones we got last night. It's in the corner of his mouth. Oh, oh gosh, that's a good one. Heck yeah, dude. Woo! Dude. Oh yeah. We were baited that one last night. Oh. Yes. Woo! Look at the tummy on that sucker. That is a really nice one. That is awesome. Golly. There we go, fellas. That's the flat boy we were after last night. Heck yeah. I didn't even see the ones that y'all caught last night. You think this one's bigger? I don't know. He's about the same. That's the same. I mean, that's three really quality fish though. We've got three now. They're like that 10 to 13, 14 pound range. I mean, that's a beautiful one too. Look at his head. Yeah, he's awesome. Awesome fish. Just really cool. Love the coloration on these guys, that mottled pattern. And that is a perfect eater. So we're going to be getting that one in the cooler too. And uh, we're going to see if we can find some more on the lines. All right, we just pull up to this line right here. And it's behaving like an absolute <gasps> freak giant flathead. We don't know that for sure, obviously. It's kind of a wimpy limb, but to me, it looks like it's going to be a big one. What do you think? Yeah, I think so too. So we're going to try to tag team. I'm going to grab the line. I'm going to try to pull up and then Jay's going to stick her hand down in thing's mouth and grab it. Okay, we're not gonna flip the boat though. Okay, yeah, don't do that. Eyes, uh, uh, not super huge, I don't think. It could get bigger. Oh, oh it's a, uh, he's not that oh, big. He's not big. He's not that big. He's not as big, oh. as, he's not as, big as I thought. Oh, my hand. I might flip him upon here. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Woo! There boat flip 101. <laughs> That's it right there. Ugh. Not a monster, but another good one. We'll take it. I thought it was going to be huge. I know, I going. know. It's just kind of a wimpy limb. That's the only issue with that. <laughs> Dang, we didn't we didn't have to tag team it, but maybe we'll get another chance to, to do the deed. He took good. Golly. Another beautiful flathead catfish. Awesome. That's the nugget we're after. Woo, we got another little limb shaker. We didn't think we had anything on there at all, but then it just started shaking. How big is he, JJ? There's definitely something on there. Is it our bait fish? Feels bigger than the bait fish. Oh, oh flipping, 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 flipping. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo. I think he's tired. He looks tired. <laughs> he didn't even really fight. Nice. There we go. Is that our fourth one? Third one? Our third flathead. Fourth fish in total, I think. Heck yeah, dude. That's another good one. I know, another great size to keep. Look at that. Awesome fish. Hunter, I'm gonna have to sit in your lap for this one. 
Oh, dude, that's a big daddy. Jay might have to tag team on this one. Oh, really? Tag team on this one? Okay. Oh, no, oh, that's oh. a good one. This might be our biggest one yet. It feels decent. Oh, shoot. Yeah, nice one. Oh, yeah. Nice one, JJ. Oh, yeah. Reach in there. Where's the hook? You're good. Oh. You're good. Oh. Oh, shoot, no! Gosh, I thought it came off. No! Uh-oh. Come back. Use the gaff pool. I'm here. I'm here. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. oh Jay. Grab him. Grab him. Grab him. Grab him. Be still. He's so good. Yeah! Woo! Woo! Yeah! That's a nice one. That is a stud. That's the biggest, right? Yeah, he's not super big, but he's bigger than the last ones. Here, let's get that hook out. I thought he was going to be... 20 pounder. I know, dude. I thought it was so much bigger, but that's okay. Look at that. It's a beautiful fish. Woo. Look at the modeling. Look at the speckles. Look at the head. Look at that dome. <laughs> we were running out of lines. I didn't think we were going to catch any more, so this is a nice little bonus fish. I think we have like two more lines ahead of us, and they don't look like they're shaking, so this might be our last one, but that's a good one to end on yeah, for is. sure. Heck freaking yeah, dude. What you think? How much do you think he weighs? 12, 13, 14 maybe? I don't know. At least 10. Oh yeah, he's at least 10. <laughs> I think 13 or 14. He's a hefty boy. Yeah, big old tail. That is sick. All right, guys, we are back with you. We have a little bit of catching up to do. So we caught all of those catfish last Saturday. And then the next day was actually Mother's Day. So this past weekend was Mother's Day. And what we did was we split the catfish 50-50 between Jay and I and Hunter. And we took the fish that we had, we cleaned them up, and we had a big Mother's Day feast yesterday. So that's actually yesterday. Yesterday was Mother's Day. And um, yeah, it was awesome. The fish tasted great. Everybody was really happy with it. But what we did is we saved a couple of pieces that we wanted to cook up for this video. So what I have here in the bag is a couple of pieces of belly meat that we harvested off of the smallest slide of catfish we had. So let me pull it out and show you guys what it looks like. It's all battered up right now. But we got to looking at that piece of meat and we were like, man, you know, that'd be really good, you know, just fried up normal style. But what if we put that between a couple of buns, filled it up with a bunch of toppings and made the world's greatest fish sandwich out of it. So we've never made fish sandwiches out of flathead catfish before. And if you've ever caught and cleaned the belly meat off of a smaller flathead catfish, you know it comes off kind of like a chicken breast. It's just kind of just like this roundish piece of meat. And it just looked, it was just like so obvious to us that we needed to make a fish sandwich out of it. So we have two pieces in here. I'll pull them both out so you can look at them. They're all battered up and they are just chunky. And what we're hoping is that this sandwich is gonna end up looking like a chicken sandwich from Chick-fil-A or Popeyes. So, and, and hopefully it'll be better. It should be good because cat, flighted catfish almost tastes a little bit like chicken. But anyways, I'm excited as y'all can tell. I've got my deep fryer over here on my right. It's actually all warmed up. So I'm going to throw those chunks of belly meat in the deep fryer, get them cooking up. And then Jay and I are gonna build, hopefully the world's greatest fish sandwich out of them. I'm excited. So let's get these guys cooking and get to building the sandwich. So as y'all have seen countless times on the channel, this is our deep fryer. And it's all heated up and we're gonna put these big slabs of meat in there i had to, i got it really really hot i want things to sizzle just like that not playing around with these boys today this one here we're gonna let those fillets cook in the hot oil for about five minutes we'll transfer them here to this paper towel let them get kind of drained off and then we'll be ready to go okay we got some floaters here and those look Magnificent guys. And if you didn't really know what a fish fillet looked like or if you just weren't paying attention to your surroundings, you would assume that was a big old piece of chicken. Which I prefer fish over chicken, but a lot of people prefer chicken over fish. Also, I forgot to mention, as a side today, I just dunked some of these guys down in the deep fryer. This is a box of some clam strips that I saw at the store today whenever I was picking up some side items. And I'll tell you what guys, while we were in Florida last week, um, you can ask Jay, you can ask anybody. The one thing that I was really craving besides fish and catching fish was eating some fresh clam strips while we were down there on the Gulf Coast. And to our surprise, every restaurant that we went to or every place we checked out didn't have them on the menu. They either had scallops or oysters, but no clam strips. So whenever I saw those in the store today, I was like, I gotta have them. What we'll do is we'll either just eat them on the side, you know, as a side, kind of like french fries, or I was kind of thinking about adding them to the fish sandwich. I think that they'll be really good. You know, clam strips are kind of a sweet meat, and I think that it will kind of really complement, you know, that spicy batter that we fried the flathead in. I'm not sure, we'll see how it goes, but 
they don't take long to cook, so I gotta keep an eye on them so I don't burn them. But once they get done, we'll be ready to build the sandwich. All right, JJ, what are your first thoughts, your first impressions on this palette of just fish sandwich goodness you're seeing in front of you? It looks so good. Like we make um, fish sandwiches a lot with crappie and I call them a slabby patty. And I'm not gonna lie, this, this looks pretty slabby. I know. You know, this really looks like a slabby patty. So, I'm gonna call it the Slabby Patty 2.0, <laughs> even though it's not a crappie, but still. Yeah, I mean, look that's at a that, nice though. slab off of a catfish. Yeah, it looks like a piece of chicken. Yeah, it, it looks, does. I mean, I mean, just sitting like that, it looks like a chicken sandwich you get from Chick Fil A. Yeah. It's crazy. It really does. And it I looks think we, really good. Yeah, and I think we have all of the um, necessary fixings. toppings. We need, all the fixings and toppings. We need. We got the hot sauce. We got tartar sauce. We've got pickles, tomato, some lettuce. And then of course, there's those clam strips that I cooked up. Those might be going on the sandwich. I think they're definitely gonna go on mine. I'm not sure if they're gonna go on Jay's or not, I but. Know. I'll try it. Yeah, but it just, I, I'm just really excited <laughs> about this. I can't believe that this idea has slipped our mind all these years. I know, like, why have we never done this? I know, I was like, I was just, I just had that, that epiphany whenever I was cleaning the fish. I was like, oh my gosh, this looks like perfect meat to go on a fish sandwich, so. Anyways. We'll start putting it together. Yeah, go ahead and do that. Okay. I like to have, well, hang on. I like to have the lettuce on the bottom. Yeah, that makes sense. With the tomato. Perfect or fit, Or tomato, too. whatever you want to call it. The slabby patty. Golly. And then I put the pickles on the slabby patty. Oh, that looks so good. And then you gotta have tartar sauce. You can't have a fish sandwich without tartar sauce. Unless you just hate tartar sauce, like Cole. <laughs> But it makes it so good. I don't know what the dealio is. I don't like tartar sauce at all. You're it's, crazy. I know. It's just one of those one of those things. Oh, oh you can't, gosh. You can't like everything. Unless you're you. I think you like just about everything. I like everything. There's some things you don't like. I can't think of it off the top of my head, but I know there are some things you don't like. <laughs> Got that on there. And hmm, I guess I'll add a couple of clam strips. I think you should. It's just kind of like adding like a like a fried, you know, like those little um little fried onion tanglers you get like on yeah. big steak burgers or something. Yeah. It's kind of like that. So it's kind of like a little garnish that thing. Be good. Oh gosh. Oh goodness. Not, oh, gosh. oh gosh. Timber. They're all falling down. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna try a couple. Yeah, that'll work. It won't be bad. Slap it on there. Okay. Hold it up. Let's get a look at it. That is magnificent. Cole and Jay's Slappy Patty 2.0. Slappy Patty Extreme. Would you buy it? Comment below. <laughs> yeah, should we should we reconsider our food truck? Yeah. Cole and Jay food truck. I think it'd be pretty cool. At least for maybe a day. <laughs> oh. We've got baby C on the sleep monitor over here and he's starting to kind of stir around a little bit, so we're gonna have to make this quick. He knows I'm about to eat. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't like to get left behind. Mm -mm. Okay. One, just gotta, just gotta keep watching, but all right, here we go. We'll give you a second. Oh my goodness. That is probably the best bite of a fish sandwich I've ever had. I'm not kidding. <laughs> I mean, I was, it looks fantastic. That I mean, is amazing. I mean, if you just look at it, I mean, just I'm look at that. Bite. Look at those big old like belly flakes. That's just, mm. we're gonna have to get some more flatheads. Dude, that is so good. Y'all, this is so good. This is like the best fish sandwich I've ever had. I'm not even kidding. You went not lie to the people, No, you? I went not lie. So here's what mine looks like. Mine just lacks the tomato and the lettuce and, and the, the tartar, tartar sauce. sauce, but it's got all the stuff that I like on there, including the hot sauce. Jay didn't put any hot sauce on hers. I put a little bit on mine. So anyways, we're gonna smack this top bun down. Oh my gosh. Get ready for the best bite of your life. Here we go, I got everything right there. I got the clam strip, pickles, fish. Here we go. That's like heaven in a fish sandwich right there. Mm-hmm. That is so um, tasty, isn't it? It is, I think it's because of like the thickness of the fish. Mm-hmm. Because you know, like on a crappie, they're usually a little bit thinner, which is great, and you can stack them up and make them as thick as you want to, but it's like, this is like a full, like just, delicious meaty fish it's not gross it's kind of like you know when you get like a fish that was like a like cod or something you know it's not bad but it's like that kind of just thick meat it's so good guys we've finally done it looks like we got ourselves a dabbling duck look how funny that thing looks it is swimming and this is the one that we have baited with the frog and this frog smells really bad we got a fish on a duck the duck just the duck is swimming it just took off uh oh uh oh we got one we got one on this one holy crap What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Colin Jay, and today we are out here on the lake 
and we're gonna be conducting a little experiment that we've been wanting to try out for a very long time. And to be honest with you guys, this is a pretty foolproof experiment, but it's something we've, like I just said, we've been wanting to do forever. So right here on the lake, we're gonna be doing some catfishing today. And uh, a few videos ago, we ran some noodles or jugs to try to catch our catfish. And we're gonna be doing something very similar today. But instead of using pool noodles or milk jugs, we're gonna be using something really awesome. And that is this guy <laughs> right here. So those of you familiar with waterfowl hunting, this is a duck decoy. You use these to lure ducks in to your decoy spread. But today we're gonna use this duck to lure in a catfish, hopefully into our canoe. So basically guys, this is just a jug line in the shape of a duck decoy. Well, it's a real duck decoy. What we have is we have the lead that you have at the bottom of the decoy to make the decoy stay in place in the water. And then above it, I just attached a regular little drop line hook. And so the idea for this is we're gonna set these duck decoys around this swampy area like we did the other day and hopefully catch some catfish. For bait, we've got a bucket of fresh shad. Check that guy out right there. But we also have a super secret weapon here, courtesy of our dog, Buggy. Buggy was snooping around in the yard and she found us a leopard frog. Aww. She was tossing it around. She killed the leopard frog and she knows that's naughty. She's not supposed to be getting the bullfrogs or leopard frogs or any kind of frog. So she got a good little spanking for it. But we're not gonna let this guy go to waste. We're actually going to bait this up on one of our jugs and hopefully catch a monster catfish on it. I know that catfish likes frogs and I think that this guy could bring some good luck. So guys, we hope that y'all are excited for today's episode. If so, do us a huge favor, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel. We are getting close to 200,000 subscribers. That is our next huge milestone we're trying to hit. So we would greatly appreciate it if you could hit the subscribe button for us. But with that being said, we've got about a dozen duck decoys here we gotta set out. Let's get after it. The spot that we're sitting in actually looks pretty good to drop our first duck decoy. So let's get it rigged up. Got a nice about three inch shad right here. Just gonna hook him twice. I took him once behind the back and then just run it up underneath their dorsal fin like that. And then just push them on the hook. So if any fish grabs that whole shad in one bite, it's gonna get the hook. Pull those little scales off the tip. That looks tasty. Let's drop our duck decoy now. I think we're gonna have to unravel it ourselves. Usually the pool noodles, they'll unravel themselves, but we'll just do it manually today. That hit the bottom, and there we go. We should definitely be able. To, we definitely shouldn't have to worry about losing our our uh, our jug rig today. At times, we've lost like smaller, like Mountain Dew bottles or cans or even the little pool noodles, just because they're kind of small and the fish can pull them away. But I don't think there's any way a fish is going to be able to pull that up underneath this mat. And if so, oh my gosh, it's going to be a monster. So let's go around the edge of the swamp. Let's get some more of these duck decoys baited up. Hopefully, soon catch some big old catfish. set up except for this one and this is the one that we have baited with the frog and this frog smells really bad he smells really really bad but we're in this really nice cool swampy spot and hopefully we're gonna catch a monster on this all right let's toss it in and hopefully we're gonna catch a monster i think we have a good chance to catch something like frog with as bad as it stinks yeah i, I can still smell it <laughs> it feels like it's awful <laughs> all right so we got the entire duck decoy catfish spread out in the water now um, we're gonna let those shad marinate for a little while, maybe like 30 minutes, maybe up to even an hour. And then hopefully whenever we come back out here, we'll have some big old catfish on the line. Uh, real quick while I'm paddling back towards the house, I'm gonna let you guys know that Waterland Optics has a bunch of new shades on their website available to purchase. This is the new Slaunch series. We've been wearing these for a few weeks now and they are incredible. They keep our eyes protected from the sun, which is really important this time of year, especially. And I also had a close call while I was bastards and I had a hook hit me in the eye. And if I wasn't wearing these, I probably would have had to get my eyeball ripped out, which is not cool. But guys, they gave us a new discount code that you can punch in. It's CJ15. That'll save you 15% off everything on their website. We'll have Waterland linked down in the video description below, but we're gonna head back to the house. We're gonna grab some water, maybe some snacks, and then we're gonna come back out here and see if we got any catfish on the line, which I have a good feeling we probably will. hate to say this guys but we've been out here trying to catch a catfish on one of these duck decoys 
for the last three hours and we have not had a single fish on the line. Zero. Zero. And we are stunned to be quite honest. Most of the time when we come out here and set either limb lines or jugs of some form, we're able to catch at least a bullhead or a small channel cat, you know, on the first run. Um, I have a couple of theories though as to why maybe we haven't caught any fish because when we've checked them, we have had some hooks without bait. What I'm thinking is that I actually left the original lead weights to those duck decoys on there and they're pretty heavy. They're like, I mean, they're upwards of eight ounces of weight. And I'm thinking that if a fish grabs a hold of that hook and starts thrashing around, they can use that weight as leverage and get off the hook. So that's something I probably should have thought of at first, but we're already in too deep. And this is actually going to be our like fourth run checking through all of these decoys. Um, another thing that's going on, we only set out like a dozen decoys, which normally when we run lines, we run like two dozen, three dozen of them, which usually ensures that we catch something. But we did not expect for it to be this difficult out here today. No. So we're out here, we're really literally just hoping and praying that we're able to actually catch at least one catfish for dinner. That's our new goal. Hopefully we can catch one. We're planning on fishing a little bit longer. Um, we're running out of time though. We have had a babysitter today. Um, Cypress is going to be getting dropped off pretty soon. So we got to make some magic happen. Hopefully on this run right here, we'll be able to catch something. The sun's starting to go down. You know, usually catfish are more easily caught um, in the afternoons or at night. So fingers crossed. But anyways, we're going to paddle up here to our decoy spread. We're going to start on this back half first, work way towards the front, and hopefully we'll have one on the line. I hope so. Guys, we've finally done it. Looks like we've got ourselves a dabbling duck. Look how funny that thing looks. It is swimming. It is swimming. He's going. Oh my God. He's going. Oh my God. <laughs> we came towards him. He's, he got away from us. Oh man, I hope the fish stays on. That is so funny looking. That duck is swimming. It's got a fish. Come this is the moment we've been looking for all day. It has been such a struggle. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I was right up next to him. Please stay on there, fish. Oh, it's swimming to me. It's swimming to me. It's swimming to me. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh gosh, is he big? Is he big? I don't know. Pull him up. Oh! oh my gosh, we did it. We finally did it. Holy cow. <laughs> that oh, was awesome. Wait, that's a nice one. It's that's not bad at all. And it's a solid channel cat. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so the duck decoys will in fact help us catch some catfish. Okay. We didn't know if it was going to happen or not. Okay, that was so cool watching what? it, watching the duck swim off. <laughs> I mean, that you know, that's the whole deal of this. That was what was going to make this so much fun was watching those ducks actually swim around like they were alive. That is a good eating size channel catfish. Heck yeah, I am stoked about that. Woo! Awesome. So we just we just checked like our first like three decoys on this back half. We have about you know eight or nine of that one we need to check. So maybe they're finally starting to turn on. We tried throughout the middle of the day, didn't really have much luck. But I'm thinking that as the sun which is right there, starts to set a little bit more, we might start catching some more catfish. Heck yeah, he'll be some good eating tonight. All right, well, it's not looking too good for us. We have just checked all of our decoys, except for this one right here and we're not really getting a good vibe from it, but we're yeah. gonna go ahead and check the very last one. Yeah, she's not looking like a dabbling woody, but we're just making sure that there's not any sneaky fish on there. That one still got the bait. What? A lot of ones we've checked didn't have the bait on them, we've had to rebait, but I guess that one's still good. With this, the good news is, we got one catfish. Woo! Woo! Huh. And that's a, skunked. Yeah, and that's enough to feed us, which is great. And the other good news is that we baited all of these other decoys. There's some somewhere. There's one right there. She's just chilling. And we're hoping that as the sun starts to set, that maybe we'll get some more activity on these duck decoys. So the sun's going to set in about 30 minutes or so. We're going to let these guys marinate a little bit longer. They've basically been out here all day with little action, but we're not giving up hope. We're going to see if we can catch at least one more catfish, but you know, if not, We've at least got one and that's great. So we're going back in. We'll catch you back out here in just a little while. So while we're waiting on those duck decoys to hopefully get bit again, I've decided to go on ahead, clean our catfish. Not a monster channel cat, but that is our favorite eaten sized fish to catch. So definitely pumped about that. We'll just use this electric fillet knife to get him cleaned up real quick. <laughs> And 
And there you have it, a couple of really nice catfish fillets, one for me, one for Jay to have tonight for supper. Let's get these guys rinsed off in the water hose and we'll be cooking them up really soon. The sun is just about set on us, so I'm out here one last time before dark to hopefully see if we've got a catfish on the line of one of these duck decoy fishing rigs we've got set up. Um, I have high hopes for the duck decoys, especially with the low light situation, but you never know, it's been a very tough day, but that's just how fishing goes. You know, you're not gonna smash them every single day, but Jay and I are both very thankful that we were at least able to get one catfish but like i said i'm not giving up hope there's still a good chance we could have one on one of these lines so we're going to run through them one last time and see if we got ourselves one last catfish we got one 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 we got one. We got a fish on a duck. The duck just the duck is swimming. It just took off. I'm gonna be still on there, but we definitely just had a fish pull that duck right there. I'm not even joking. Please still be on there. Please still be on there. Be on there. That duck just jammed. He just went boom. Come on, be a fish. There's some bubbles coming up right there. Oh my gosh, I'm freaking out. Come on, be a fish on this thing. Be a fish on this thing. I feel one. There's a fish. There's a fish. There's a fish. That's a good one. Oh, it's a gar. It's a freaking gar. It's a big gar, though. What the heck? Dang it. That's not what we're after. Look at this. Big old spotted gar. It's actually a really large one for spotted gar. Dang. Where's that hook at? I don't even know where the hook's at in him. Woo. That's a nice fish, but not what we're after. We were wanting the kitty cats. Oh well, even though this is not our target species, it was still really cool watching that duck uh, take off like that from afar. Man, what a big old gar. We're gonna try to get him unhooked and uh, check the rest of our decoys. Uh-oh, uh-oh, we got one. We got one on this one. Holy crap, I did not even feel him. Oh, I think he's dead. Oh, he's barely alive. What the heck? Oh, that's a big old channel cat. Whoa, I don't think he's alive. Are you kidding me? I did not think that that had a fish on it. Oh man, I don't know why he would have died, but whatever, he's still fresh. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. We got two channel cats. That's so weird, why is he dead? That's crazy. I will take it though. I mean, look at the size of that guy. That is a big old channel cat. Probably like a five or six pounder. That was completely unexpected. That duck decoy wasn't even moving. I, I went by it really fast, grabbed it, felt something. I thought I had a stick and then all of a sudden this big old guy came out of there. That is crazy. Wow. And but come to think of it, I don't recall that particular duck decoy being right there. So I guess he just swam off with it, got tired and died. I don't know. Leave a comment below if you know why you would think this fish would die just from sitting on the water like that. Maybe from stress, maybe from the water being kind of hot. But either way, he's a fresh catfish. We're going to take him home. We're going to eat him. Yes! Well, guys, that could not have gone any better. You know, we fished super hard all day. We caught that one channel catfish earlier. And uh, had we not caught any more fish today, that one would have probably been enough for us for supper. But this guy just makes our life a lot easier and a lot better. Uh, we were really hoping to get more than just one catfish. And this is a really nice sized fish. You know, probably five or six pounds or so. And I couldn't believe it whenever I grabbed that duck decoy and felt that little bit of weight and then I saw his big old head come up out of the water. I was like, whoa, we got a fish. That is crazy. Because right before then, I was a little bit bummed out that that other decoy just had a gar on it. But anyways, awesome fish. We're gonna get them cleaned up real quick and then we're gonna get the cooking process underway because we are both very hungry. Just got that catfish all cleaned up and I actually just got cleaned up myself from a long day of catfishing out on the lake. It was hot and sweaty and we had shad slime all over us. So it feels good to get a shower and get all cleaned up. But what's gonna be really good is filling our hungry bellies up with these delicious looking catfish fillets. I got these guys seasoned up pretty hardcore. We're gonna actually try to blacken them the right way today. We're getting the skillet right here 
nice and hot. We're gonna throw some butter down in it and we're gonna get these babies all blackened up, cooked up. They're gonna be so delicious. Uh, whenever I clean them, they have quite a bit of yellow meat on them, so I trimmed that up, but we still have a lot of meat here to work with. And like I said, we are starving. I think they each of us have only had a sandwich today to eat, which is definitely not enough. So we're gonna make up for it with these catfish. Let's throw them on the skillet and uh, let's get to cooking. Some butter down. That's what we want right there. All right, that's it. That's pretty hot. Let's add our fish. Hopefully it's not too hot. Hopefully we don't burn the house down. And as you can see, I only have them seasoned on one side. They're pretty heavily seasoned. Don't want to burn the roof of our mouth off too bad. Those boys are sizzling. I just flipped the catfish over and those are looking fantastic. Perfectly blackened on that side. I cannot wait to eat those. I've not had like truly blackened catfish in so long. Those are almost done. See, that's the good thing about blackening them. It only takes a couple minutes to cook them. Take a look at this, guys. Dinner is officially served. Beautiful blackened catfish fillets. We've got our microwave rice over here, you know, trying to keep it classy with that. But we have it garnished with the lemon slices. That's gonna be delicious. And guys, it's only 9.44 p.m. <laughs> it's been a long day, but this is what it's all about. This is totally worth grinding it out there on the lake for hours and hours without much luck at all, because I have a great feeling this is going to be delicious. That looks fantastic. All right, so Colby and the gentleman that he is, he is letting me go first and try this fish. Oh my goodness, I cannot get over how beautiful this looks. I mean, the presentation, Cole. I, I tried hard this time. <laughs> you know, sometimes I just slap it on the plate, but I wanted to make it extra fancy, extra special, you know, for the tough crime we had on the lake. That okay. looks like it flaked up really good. Yeah, I am so hungry. <laughs> Oh, baby. I was about to say, please be good. Mmm. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Worth it? That's amazing. That's really, really good. <laughs> Maybe I'm just really, really hungry, but oh, my gosh. See, that, that might be part of the strategy, too, just to get mm. you super hungry. I mean, we literally ate last, like, at 11 a.m. Mm -hmm. It's been a long day. Oh, my goodness. This is spectacular. I'm not gonna lie, it smoked the house up a little bit. Like, if you look out that way, it looks kind of yeah, like, it looks like a wildfire that way, but, um, you know, it's it's worth it, I think. Dang, Cole, you did good. Mm. Okay, so I'm gonna hit this piece right here first. I'm gonna squeeze some lemon juice on it because I love it that way. Here we go, get a little bit of that action. That looks like it's gonna be delicious. I know you wouldn't lie to me either, would you? Never. Okay, there we go. That's the bite. The perfect bite. Here we go. That's good stuff, ain't That's it? That's good stuff. It's like straight out of New Orleans. <laughs> I know. It's like... It's good. It's like I'm down in Louisiana. <laughs> so I seasoned it with the uh, the black and redfish magic pretty heavy. I put some Slappy Mama on there, a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of black pepper. You know, I just kind of went I went all in for it. And I was afraid it was going to be too much heat because I kind of spilled a little bit of Slappy Mama on some of the fillets. But it's good. I didn't season the backside because of that. But man, that was... Mmm. It was really good. Wow. No, it's like... That's, I feel like I'm eating at a fancy restaurant. That's because you are. This is the Cole and Jay Cafe. <laughs> we should open a food truck. We should stop making fishing videos. We should just open a food truck and just uh, start cooking fish. <laughs> All day, every day. <laughs> we are out here today in our old trusty canoe out here on the edge of the beautiful cypress tree swamp. And we are about to try to do a little yo-yo catfish run to try to put some fish in the boat today. So Jay's got a basket here of some yo-yos. And over here I've got a cup full of some bait. I caught some shad, put them in this little coffee can, and uh, we're gonna do our best to catch some catfish today. It is really hot today. It's gonna be up over 100 degrees. We have a little bit of breeze right now, and we're kind of sitting in the shade, but I'm not sure how long all this is going to be shaded. And also, along with the yo-yo spread we're sending, we also have a couple of fishing rods in the boat with us. Um, what we're gonna do, we're gonna set up our initial spread, and then basically just wherever, whichever area seems to be holding the most catfish is where we're gonna be uh, setting up the canoe and doing some rod and reel fishing to hopefully catch something on rod and reel just to kind of mix things up a little bit. But guys, we're gonna get started. We hope you all are excited for today's video. If so, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and uh, Jay, let's go catch some catfish. Let's do it. Let's go.
Okay, so we just hung up one of our first yo-yos on this tree. Show you guys the bait we're using. We're using some freshly caught baby thread thin shad. I'm actually cutting them right in half. Um, I feel like that's too big of a bait for a yo-yo, especially these kind of smaller crappie hooks. When the fish bites it, I want them to suck the whole thing in so that they can't just like nibble on it and set the bait off. You really just want them to engulf it in one bite. But anyways, this is the head piece. And all I'm doing really is I'm just hooking it kind of right behind the eyes, kind of in the thick part of the head. It's so like I said, when this fish comes up and eats it, I want them to just engulf the whole thing and get that hook. I don't want that hook getting stuck in any other part of the shad. So that's set up pretty good. And then as far as depth, we're in about four and a half, five feet deep of water. And I'm setting these baits about halfway down in the water column. I know the catfish will come up and get it if they're interested. So that is a fully set yo-yo and uh, one of my favorite spots actually amongst all these trees. So hopefully we'll be catching one on that one really soon. We've got some more trees over here. We can get them baited up and um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully the catfish will show up. Okay, so we've got good news and bad news. We have a creature on our first yo-yo here and it is not our target species. We have ourselves what appears to be a full grown Mississippi map turtle, but with bad news, there's good news because the next yo-yo has a nice there's a fish. There's a fish. Yeah. Look at that, that looks like a good one. It does look like a good one. And I see more up ahead. But let's first tend to this turtle. I don't wanna I don't wanna hurt him and I don't want him to hurt me. Ah! Open your mouth. He's barely hooked. Open up. Okay. Alright. We've got our buddy, <laughs> big old Mississippi map turtle. It's kind of one of the struggles of running yo-yos in the daytime. You catch more turtles, but as y'all saw, it came out nice and easy. We'll send this guy back into the lake. Hopefully he won't disturb any more of our yo-yos. Send it back. Go ahead and get this one rebated while we're right here. I got some chunks here. Surely he wouldn't be silly enough to bite it again. Surely not. And if he does, then just shame on him. <laughs> but that's rebated with a chunk of shad. It might be too big of a chunk, but it'd be all right. We'll see, but we have to tend to this catfish up here. Oh yeah, that looks like a good one. Does he have any turtle bites on him? Oh, uh, no, he looks good. He looks barely hooked too. Oh gosh. Good we thing. Got net. We've got a net. First fish scoop with the Woo! net. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. That's a thick guy. And just like that, we are on the board with our first really nice sized channel catfish. That's like a three and a half pounder maybe. Could be even close to four. It's kind of hard to judge sometimes on these catfish. Actually, I have a scale. We might as well go ahead and weigh him, but he's hooked right here in the whisker. I've noticed that a lot of times when we run yo-yos for catfish, we catch so many in the whisker and that's just kind of strange to me. Especially like how we're even to keep them hooked up, but good start to the day. Oh yeah. Let's get a quick weight on him, see how big he is. And I just told you he's like three and a half pounds. Let's see how good my guesstimation is. What's your <laughs> guess, Jay? Four. Four? I'm gonna say four. Uh, I see some swirling. We might have another fish. Ooh. We definitely have at least one more over there, which is really exciting. Okay, this is a new scale. It was sent to us in an unboxing not too long ago. Got him lip gripped. Ah! Okay, three pounds and three ounces. Ooh. So that's pretty good. If he was a little bit longer, a little bit chubbier, he'd be a four pounder, but he's just a normal, just solid three pound channel cat. And we'll be throwing him on the stringer and uh, trying to get some more fish in the boat. All right, we got another one. And then on the tree behind it, there's another one. Look Holy at that. cow. <laughs> we oh got two goodness. more. Oh, that's a good one. That's a really good one. Scoop. Oh, Woo! he's bigger than last one, I think. Oh, yeah. He might be four pounds. Dang, that's a really nice one. That is a oh, nice goodness. size catfish. We are definitely going to be setting up over here because this is only just a couple of feet away from the last fish the and from where the other one shot up. popped right out. I know that's why it's so nice to have a net on you whenever we're catching these catfish on yo-yos because they're, I mean they're most of the time just fine little crappie hooks. Look at that. It's a good one. Yeah. Nice. He's a little bit chubbier. I think so. He's going to be closer to four. I'm yeah. not sure if he is, but we'll check maybe in a minute. But in the meantime, we have to go over here and get this other fish. So I guess just <laughs> set that one down in the bottom of the boat. We'll tend to him in just a moment. Okay. Okay. Can she do it? Can she go two for two? Look at that catfish. Like another nice one. Not as big as the last one, but definitely a good eater. Go for the scoop ski. Yes. Uh oh, wow. uh oh, hit the tree. <laughs> We're good. Wow, it's so much easier using this net. <laughs> and it feels good over here in the shade. Yeah, it does. We might have to like set the boat up over here and sit in the shade and catfish. I mean, we have three yo-yos set here. We got one on that one, one on this one, and we actually have the one behind me, and it looks like it got bit too. Yeah. Well, this one is the smallest one so far, but definitely still a good catfish. I know. It's Perfect like, eating size like a two pounder. Yeah, like our favorite yeah. size channel catfish is somewhere between like, you know, a pound and a half to like maybe five, six pounds. Yeah. But that's awesome. Is really there one fish. behind us? I don't know. Oh. 
don't know actually. No, it was just tangled up. A fish had it and got it tangled up. But we almost had three catfish on three yayos okay. in the same little spot. It's hot out here. I'm surprised that we're catching this many during the middle of the day. I know, it's literally like noon. It's <laughs> it hot, is. but the bite is hotter. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's get him in the boat. Let's get them all on a stringer and um, let's uh, look around and see if we any more fish on okay. yayos. <laughs> oh, we got one. Woo! Yeah, I guess he's dead. He ain't really swimming. What? Oh my gosh, no way. Look at this. What? That is not good. That is not good. Oh, he got oh. got. Oh, no. Oh, this always happens to us. No. Dang, we didn't get to this guy fast enough. Look at that. That was going to be a nice catfish. Dang. And that is definitely the end result of a uh, of an alligator snapping turtle. Well, most likely an alligator snapping turtle coming and doing that. Because, like, the, in the short amount of time that we've been out here, like, in between baiting them and checking them, like, there's no way that, like, a whole pack of, like, other aquatic turtles, like the sliders or the map turtles, could have done that. And that looks like just a clean, just oh, yeah. just just chomp from a big guy. Look at that. Uh. I mean, definitely, it's like big old alligator snapper turtles came and took like two or three bites. And then what I think happens is that once they do that, you know, the head, the bait, the fish isn't as heavy anymore, and the fish, you know, goes up towards the top of the water, and then they're just not interested anymore. Or maybe they're just smart. You know, alligator snapper turtles have been around for a long time, and they know if they eat the head of a dead fish, that they might get hooked <laughs> <laughs> from experience. But dang, dude, we could have had that would have been our fourth one. Yeah. Ah, oh, dang. Well. I think we're going to be sitting out here with them from here on out. We went back to the house for about 25, 30 minutes in between uh, baiting them and checking them. Um, so hopefully this won't happen again. But if it does happen, I'd like to at least see it. Yeah. <laughs> I would love cool. to see a giant alligator snapper turtle come up and eat a catfish. That would be so cool. But at least I, somebody ate it. Yeah, something ate it. And <laughs> I guarantee you, whenever I toss this guy back out here, something else is going to eat that. So somebody got a free lunch. It wasn't us. Um, but hey, we'll rebate this guy and hopefully get another chance at a at an even nicer channel cat. That is crazy. You hate to see it and love to see it at the same time. <laughs> We are really feeling the heat out here now. It is really, really bright and sunny. The breeze is, is feeling pretty nice, but it's not blowing as hard as it was when we first got out here. But we just finished up checking all of our uh, first round of yo-yos, getting all the fish off of them, getting them all rebated. But now we've decided to camp out right here in this area where we had the most success on the yo-yos and cast a couple of rods out while we sit and kind of wait and listen around. So Jay has got hers all rigged up. We're just gonna be throwing them underneath the bobber. There's the bobber. We got a little little split shot right there, and then we have a piece of shad. So pretty much the same program as the limb lines, except they're attached to us and not yeah. to a tree. <laughs> Go ahead and fire that back. the fight. And me get my pole. I already casted my pole out there. Okay. Nice. Jade's got her bobber floating right there in the middle of your screen. I think mine's out here. Yep, there's mine out here kind of in the front of the canoe. And I, I think we're just gonna sit here, just kind of take it easy for a little while, just kind of just with our eyes open and watching our bobbers and then with our ears open just listening for yo to go off and i think that if we do have a yo go off here we'll just uh, pull the anchor up on the canoe run over grab our fish and then uh we'll just keep on casting our baits out and just hope we'll catch fish on the rod and reel that'd be really cool but if not you know i'm cool catching them just on yo-yos because at the end of the day we're just trying to get some catfish in the boats so we can take them home and eat them but uh yeah we'll keep you posted uh oh uh oh we got one we're anchored up behind right behind us that is crazy Okay, we probably should go get that fish before he gets off. <laughs> He's kind of getting tucked up underneath the sticks. Okay, we're coming. We're coming. Literally, right behind where the boat was parked at. We were kind of worried if we were gonna spook him or not, but I guess it didn't matter. Whoa, don't tip the yes, boat, whoa. I got him. <laughs> yeah, all right. He's kind of stuck in the net now. I think he took pretty good. Boom, catfish number four. I guess this could technically could be considered catfish number five since we had that one get eaten in half, but our first fully intact and lively <laughs> catfish. All right, he was looked good. Right in the roof of the mouth. I mean, literally 10 feet behind the boat, we we're just sitting there, just kind of just chilling, just talking. We heard it go tick, and we're like, huh? And he started splashing like crazy. <laughs> Another nice little catfish. All right, well, I guess we'll get it rebated and we'll just sit back here and try to catch one on the rod and reel. Jay actually had a bite on her bobber just a minute ago, too. Yeah, something got my bait. I know. I got to get back out there. Yeah, let's get him on the stringer and get back out there. 
Okay, we're hooked up again. And this is kind of funny because Jay was throwing her bobber over here and she literally just had one steal her bait. And then about five seconds later, this yo-yo right behind where our bobber is that shot up and I think we got him. I got the dirty dog. Yep. And he looks like he's hooked okay, but you might as well net him anyways. Yeah. Here we go. Catfish number five. Woo! And he's in the net. Way to go, JJ. Okay, I think this one is our smallest. He might be, but he's probably gonna be the tastiest, honestly. Probably, yeah, <laughs> I agree with that. I mean, I'm almost positive that was the catfish that just tried to get your bait underneath the bobber. I know. Oh, I think so too. And you know what? Honestly, it's like so much fun just sitting out there in the middle of them. Like we had that one behind us and then this one was like right in front of us. That's just fun to watch him go off. I know. It's a lot better than, than leaving. I mean, honestly, I think that probably leaving them undisturbed, you know, like just kind of, you know, paddling off away from the others is probably better to get more bites. But hey, it doesn't seem to be causing too much of an issue here mm -hmm. today. We've got some pretty good ones right here in the boat already. That's number five. Let's get him on the stringer. Let's get that yellow rebated and let's get set back over there so we can get one on the rod and reel. Oh, I got him. Got him. Oh, yeah. Got him. Be a catfish. What is that? Oh no! What is it? It's a turtle. Oh my goodness! Is that the same match we caught earlier? Man, that got me so excited. I thought that I had a nice catfish on the rod and reel, but it was just this big old map turtle. And honestly, it looks so similar to the first <laughs> one we caught today. Ah! Come here, buddy. Ah! Oh goodness! He's grumpy. He said, "Not you again." He's just barely hooked. There we go. He's off. <laughs> This is one of my favorite species of aquatic turtle. This is the Mississippi map turtle. And uh, again, it's another full-sized adult. I like the cool yellow patterns they have on their head. I think they're really cool. And they also, when they're smaller, they have these really big spikes on the top of their shell, which is nice. But since it's older, it's worn down quite a bit. This is honestly a really pretty turtle. And fun fact, if you look at the toenails, you can tell that this is a female uh, Mississippi map turtle because she has the short little toenails. If this was a male map turtle, he would have some really long, like freakishly long toenails. So, got ourselves a big mama, and uh, she was trying to get herself a free shad. And I'm not sure if she actually got the bait or not, but um, hopefully she doesn't get any more of our shad attached to hooks. Maybe we can throw some out there to keep her occupied and keep her off the hooks. <laughs> Second turtle of the day, not exactly what we're after, but still kind of a welcome sight. Hi. Peace. All right, well, I don't think we're gonna catch anything on our rod and reel today. Cole caught that turtle and that's about it. It's honestly been like an hour since we caught a fish on a yo-yo. So it feels like the bite has just stopped. And honestly, we're happy with what we got. And it's just- We got some good ones. Yeah. Maybe we got five? Yeah. Five catfish. That's plenty. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. I think that, you know, the sun is, where's it at? The sun's right there. There's the sun. It's beaming down on us. It's like 100 degrees out here. We're completely exposed. The wind has gone away. It's just hot <laughs> and humid and just kind of miserable. You know, I think we could sit out here and catch a few more, but I think yeah. it'd be best to just pack it on in. And maybe if we wanted to come out here this afternoon, we could, but I think yeah. we're actually just going to pick up our, our yo-yos now. We might do some rod fishing later, but we're going to get everything picked up. We're going to get these fish cleaned up and uh, we're going to have some fun cooking them up here in a little while. Yeah. Sounds good. All right, just made it off the lake a little bit ago and I've already got the fish all cleaned. Let me turn this camera around and show you guys today's harvest all here in the bowl. Look at that right there, guys. That is a nice mess of catfish. We got some really good quality sized fish. I think our biggest was gonna be close to four, but several in the three pound range. And uh, we were ready to cook them up. And today we are going to be actually grilling them here on the old gas grill. I've already got a few things out here, but today we're keeping it really, really simple. I mean, this is as simple as it gets when it comes to um, seasoning up some catfish. I went to the store and picked up one of my favorite seasonings. Y'all know that I love Slappy Mama and that's like normally my go-to. That's like my number one, that's our number one, but we have a, a close second favorite that I've been kind of wanting for a while now, and it is this guy right here. This is the Blackened Redfish Magic. You've seen us use this a ton. Also on the channel, it is just so good, and it has a little bit of a different flavor than the Slappy Mama, and um, it's just overall just really, really good. So all we're gonna do, I've got some foil here, and this is where we're going to be laying the uh, the catfish down. I've already got this butter stick, and I've already you know, got it all laid down on the foil so the catfish don't stick to it, and uh, we're just going to season up those fillets with the black and redfish magic and uh, let them grill on the grill for a few minutes. Um, we got a few sides going on the inside, so let's get this put together and let's have ourselves a nice dinner tonight. OK, 
Okay, we got our fish all seasoned up. They're looking really, really good. They're only seasoned on the top side, so I kind of go pretty liberal on the seasoning whenever I just season one side. And I have, of course, some little chunks of butter on top of them. That'll melt all into the fish while I make it really good. Our grill is at 400 degrees, which is just exactly where I like it. So let's go ahead and transfer these boys from here to here and get them sizzling. So in the meantime, while we're waiting on the catfish to cook, I have got me a little stack. There's some disc golf discs right here. I got my basket right there. Let's see how many putts we can make. I think I have six discs right here. I'm putting it to a headwind. I think I can make a couple of them. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Ooh, it's kind of hard with the camera. Oh, there's one. Let's zoom in so you can see it hit the chain so I make another one. Oh shoot, there it is, there it is. Oh, three out of five. Oh, barely, there we go. Four out of six, not too bad. But let's see how our catfish is doing. The grill's kind of cooled off a little bit, but oh my goodness. Look at those fish, y'all. That looks scrumptious. That's exactly what we were looking for right there. Got that butter melting. Got that black and redfish magic doing its work, doing its job. Those will be done here really shortly. Man, I wish I could smell that. That is so dang good. And there we have it, folks. There is tonight's feast. We've got our black and redfish magic catfish that we grilled up. We've got some rice, and of course, we got some broccoli florets, and we've got the slab queen here. <laughs> Big team member in today's catfish mission. Oh, yeah. Go Man, ahead. this looks good. I knew you'd like the way that looked. Jay loves black and redfish magic. I think she might like it more than Saipi Mama. It's hard to say. Oh yeah. That's good stuff. Mm -hmm. That's I mean it's really hard to beat. Yeah. That is hard to beat that seasoning. Man. That is delicious. Like you don't get much better than that. Nope. That was freshly <laughs> caught just a few hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> so fresh. spot to put out our first noodle so we are gonna bait this line up just gonna hook it in the back like so and then we are just gonna toss it out and hopefully we're gonna catch a big catfish yeah that's a really good looking spot let's go up this way let's bait a whole bunch more and let's get some fish in the boat Jay let's do it You're not gonna believe this we just got up to our first noodle and we definitely have something on the line we would not have known this had we not heard some thrashing going on here in the lily pads look at this noodle the fish pulled it all the way out here into these thick pads green is probably in the, not the right color because it blends into the pads pretty good but let's pull on this thing and let's see if we can get that fish or if he's still even on there hard to tell right now it is so tangled up in these lily pads i don't know what we're gonna oh gosh this thing is heavy do you feel the fish oh yeah yeah <gasps> There's a fish. What is that? Oh, it's a big bowfin. Oh, oh my gosh. Smokes. Oh my gosh. You see his head? Oh my gosh, yeah, he I'm is big. I'm just gonna net him. He might Oh my gosh. On. Get in there. Whoa! <laughs> Holy cow. Yes. Oh, he got that thing good. Look Dang. at that beast. That's my not God. the catfish we were after, but holy smokes. What a way to start the day. Big old bowfin try to pick him up. That's a really big one. Oh, oh, oh yeah. he's gonna kick you. These guys are vicious. Woo! Look Whoa. at that! First fish on the noodle lines is a big old bowfin. They That's are a so nice cool size looking. One. Look at that! Isn't that thing awesome? What a cool fish. He's probably like seven pounds or so. These guys can get up to like 15 pounds, but this is a really nice size one. We don't catch them this big very often. Let's see if we can get that hook Whoa. out. Whoa. Careful! Let's see if we get that hook out without him killing me. All right, we safely got the hook out. It's hooked right in the corner of the mouth, right where you want it to be. But guys, look at that beast. 
a truly prehistoric fish species. It's an honor to have caught this guy today. Maybe we'll run into a few more because this is only our first noodle line. With that being said, let's send this guy back into the lake and let's get back to see if we have any more fish on the noodles. I'll let you go when you're ready. Oh, 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 oh. There, oh, there oh. he goes. Wow, that was cool. <laughs> Those guys are so hard to hold on to. They are so slick, kind of like a giant salamander, but then they're also just so strong and mostly like a big old constrictor snake. <laughs> They're awesome. I'm Such really cool. glad you got that one. <laughs> yeah, you haven't had the best of luck with both in the past. No. You've been bitten, you've been clawed and chewed up. They're hard to hold on to. Yeah. All right, we've got some more noodles back behind us. Let's go check them and see if we have anything on them. Yet since that bow fin, but look at this one, it's moving, it's, it's moving. Oh, oh, let me pull you back to it. Hey, you got long. Hopefully, it's a nice catfish. We'll take anything though. Oh, big kitty cat. Is he good? Is he good? How big is he? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, oh, he's fighting. Woo! That's a nice one. That's how you swing him in the boat. Heck yeah. Hey, there we go. That's what we're after today. Oh. A solid channel cat. Oh, yeah. He's got a thick head on him. It does. He's really pretty too. Oh, that's exactly what we came here for. A perfect eating size channel cat. He'll definitely keep. It's really exciting to have our first catfish in the boat. What we're going to do now is we're going to check our other noodles and if they need to be rebaited, we're going to rebait them. And if they have a fish on them, well, we're just going to swing them in the boat. <laughs> Ooh, don't throw him in the lake. We need him. All right, let's move Ooh. out that way and see if we got some more catfish on the line. I hope so. Guys, we've got another lily pad monster on our hands. Don't know if it's a catfish or a bowfin, but it's got this noodle pulled all up in here and we saw lots of motion, lots of commotion. Lots of commotion in the ocean. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh, what are you gonna do? Oh, he's over here. Oh, he's over here. What? He's over here. He's over here. Well, I'm about to pull him over here. My goodness. See if you can just get to his face so we can see what he is so we don't pull the hook out. Ah. You still feel anything? I haven't really felt any movement yet. Just keep trying to pull and follow the line. I think he's all the way back over here. That's why I keep seeing the pads move. He's got us all tangled up in this thing. Oh, oh I hope goodness. he's big. This is a mess, Cole. Oh my gosh. You got him? Is he coming loose? I'm feeling something now. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Keep pulling. Pull him up. Pull him up. Is he coming? Oh, where's he at? He's close. Oh, there he is. I see oh, his head. I, I see his head. head. I'm just going to grab him. Grab him. Grab oh him. God. Grab him. <laughs> yeah. Get him up. <laughs> Flip him in the boat. Woo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> Holy smoke. That's a big one. Dang oh, it. my goodness. That is a nice one. Wow. <gasps> that one was really hard to get out. Wow. He is a big guy. Look how big that catfish oh, is. Goodness. He's like twice as big as the first one we got. Man, he had us way down in there. Look at those lily pads he broke trying to pull him out of there. Here, hold that fish up. Let's see him. That was crazy. Jay, that is a dad gum dandy. That's a big old channel catfish. Heck yeah. That's <laughs> probably like the biggest one we've caught in a while out here. I know. He's going to be like pushing seven pounds or so. We have a scale. We can put him on the scale and weigh him here in a minute. But he's like double the size of the first one we got. Yeah, and he really made us work for him. Yeah, that's the thing about the big ones. They'll get you all tangled up in whatever they can. But luckily for us, we were able to get him out of the lily pads. What an awesome fish. Whoa, oh, gosh. Whoa, he's, he's vicious. So, so vicious. vicious. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the official weight is six pounds, two ounces. Hey, that's a really nice channel Ooh. cat. That's definitely the biggest one we've caught in a while. Yes. Hopefully, we can get another one bigger than this today. That would be really cool. That'd be awesome. Okay, so we're going to get this guy all strung up and we're going to make our way back that way towards the rest of our noodles and see if we have anything else on the line. Woo. Let's go. Well guys, as promising as the day started, we have hit a drought. We've been out here for about two hours with literally no more bites. It's been insane. We've been running the same 20 noodles 
and they just honestly haven't been bit at all. The baits have still been on there and just there's not any fish biting. So I think we're gonna have to cut our losses. We're gonna call it, we're gonna head back to the house. But the good news is that we've got two awesome sized catfish, which is more than enough than what we need for dinner. So we're gonna head back to the house, bring them cleaned up and we're gonna get ready to cook them. So we'll see you guys when we get there. All right guys, we just made it back to the house. We've got our two nice sized catfish here in hand ready to be cleaned up. We're here at the filet table now. We've got our electric filet knife here in hand. And yeah, let's get these guys cleaned up and get them ready to be eaten. Take a look at that guys. We've got our catfish all cleaned up now and I've already got them seasoned up with this guy right here. This is that Chef Paul Prudhomme Black and Redfish Magic. This stuff is really good. It's not as good as Sloppy Mama, but we're changing things up a little bit. I really love that seasoning on catfish. Over here we have our skillet all warmed up. We've got some butter melted in there. And we're just gonna drop these bad boys in there and get them sizzling. I wanna have these guys seasoned on one side because <laughs> as you can see, I covered them up really nicely. Not really hardcore blackening them tonight but they're gonna be delicious. And this is just all the meat off of that smaller catfish too. We'll let these boys sizzle here in the skillet for a little bit and then we will make the plate and get ready to have some nice dinner. Well, I'm not sure if you can tell by our faces or not, but we're actually pretty well spent for the day. We've had a very eventful day. Started off out there on the lake chasing after those kitty cats, paddled around all over the place, but we managed to get a few in the boat and successfully cooked up for dinner. After we got off the lake, we actually had an appointment with a photographer at the nearby pumpkin patch where we went and took some really cute pictures of us and Baby C, but mainly Baby C. He is so cute, and as you saw, he was pretty tuckered out on the chair. We've got him laid down now. We're kind of talking a little bit quietly so we don't wake him up. But we are excited to eat our dinner. This is the fruits of our labor today. We got our nice catfish filet. And like I said, these pieces of catfish are from that smaller catfish that we caught. And the bigger one is still in the fridge. And we'll probably honestly eat that tomorrow. It mm -hmm. looks really, really good. And then we've got some good old fashioned broccoli. You know, it's not much. It was pretty quick and dirty to make, but that's just what we had to do this afternoon to at least make sure that we were actually fed tonight. <laughs> so we're gonna go in, get the official taste test going on. It looks delicious. It does, it smells delicious. Yeah, I'm just gonna snag a piece of broccoli to start. I know you probably want to taste the fish, but. Mm. Mm. Broccoli's good. Broccoli's good, <laughs> but is the catfish any good? We need to grab a fork. You got some forks in here? Oh yeah. Okay, Jay's got hers. I'm gonna steal a little piece of her fish. I'll share. I'll give you back a piece of mine. <laughs> ah. I'm going in. Okay, go for it. Mmm, mm, that's really good. I love catfish. Mm -hmm. I love catfish oh, so man. much. And it's, you know, it's a lot of fun going out there and catching it ourselves. And it's just really great, you know, exactly where our fish is coming from. It's mm -hmm. coming straight from the lake. It's not going from some weird fish farm and shipped over from another country or something. It's straight out the lake, fresh, and it tastes so good. You can't get fish any fresher mm -mm. than that. Did you say butt sweat or butt sweat? Butt is wet. Oh, okay. I thought you said butt sweat for some reason. I was like, what? What's that? Okay, we're going to start by hanging up some yo-yos on some of these trees. This is a really great way to get a bunch of bait spread out. So, let's we'll start off by hanging this guy up on this branch. This is actually kind of a dead branch, so hopefully it doesn't break if we catch a big fish. <laughs> okay, we got our first yo-yo here on the tree. We're going to set up, I don't know how many, but we're going to stick our shad just right on the hook. And hopefully a catfish swims by and eats it. Or a big humongous fish. Or a big humongous fish. You don't, you don't think catfish are big and humongous? Oh. Or some carp. Some carp? 
Yeah. That'd be cool if we oh, caught a carp. Or um, alligator snapping thingy. Alligator snapping turtle? I think no, an alligator. No, 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 alligator gar? Yeah. That'd be cool. We're just going to stick some on here and hope for the best. You know, there's always the chance we may not catch anything, but we're going to do our best to catch some. Let's bounce and we'll hit all these tree branches. These all look pretty good. Oh, big fish. I saw one big. You saw a big it's fish? Big. It was not a shad. It looked like a bass. We also got to watch out for wasp nests. Oh, yeah. So if you see any wasps, holler at me. Like scream? Yeah, scream. Like, ah, we'll probably have to jump in the water. Aw, a dragonfly just got on you. Huh? A dragonfly just fell on you. Really? Yeah. That's good luck. Maybe maybe that means we're going to catch some fish. That one's blooming. Yeah. I want one that's blooming. You want one that's blooming? Okay, yeah. I'll pull you over there. Definitely do not swim in this water because there are at gators. They'll bite your head off. And snapping turtle. Oh, yeah, they will bite your toe off. That's true. Y'all are watching the news? Yeah. Anything cool happening in the world today? Nope. Just fishing? Yeah. But there's a couple call crashes. Oh, no. Aw, man. Okay, so here's our first noodle rig that we're setting up. I just, these shad are kind of small, so I'm just putting two shad just directly on the hook. Hopefully, if something comes by, they'll just gobble the whole thing up and they'll get hooked and we'll be able to, to pull them up with this thing. I think it'd be cool to watch you pull up one of these noodles. Hey, could I put it in? Yeah, you can put it in. Just toss it out there. Right there. Perfect. Cooper, you want to set the next one out? Yeah. Yeah, y'all can take turns. It's a lot easier for y'all to set the noodles out in the yo-yos just because you have to tie them up and it's got springs. And look at all those bubbles right there. Ooh, we need to go with the bubbles. I think so. I think that's a good idea. Oh my gosh, yep. See that? Yep. It's like a fish. Here you go, Cooper. I thought that Set it by this tree, probably. You can stand up and set it up. There you go. Good job. Keep your ears open, too. One of these yo-yos out here could go off at any second. Don't be slinging a fish in the boat. I am the watcher. We just about got all of our yo-yos all baited up. We're here in this nice little little pocket here. We're really optimistic about this one. There's a bunch of cypress trees right here. We've seen some shad flickering on the surface. So we think that if there's any out here that's going to get bit, it's going to be this one. We've got about 20 yo-yos and eight pool noodles. So if that's not a big enough spread to catch a catfish, then I don't know what to do. Maybe you're just bad luck, but don't catch anything. But I think you're good luck. Please, oh please. my gosh, guys, oh my we just got oh smashed on a yo-yo. I don't know if he's still on there or not, but that thing was just going insane. He's still on there. Oh, God. Careful, 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 careful. We have a big fish on there. You see it? Oh my, that might be a big catfish. That might be a big catfish. Oh my, we just baited it too. I think it's a catfish. Did he just break the branch? He just broke it. We got one right here. That one just broke, but we got one right here. Oh, we're gonna come they out. literally just broke that branch. He literally just broke the branch they was hooked on. Oh my God. But we got one right here. It's a catfish, it's a catfish, oh it's, a catfish. Oh it's a catfish. It's big. It's a catfish. It's we got a big fish, oh my gosh. Woo! <laughs> yeah, oh, he's off in the boat. Oh my God. We got him though. We're gonna have him for dinner. Yes, we are. Well guys, we are not getting skunked today. We got our first catfish in the boat. I'm gonna set it up here. Just for now. Me. You want to sit it back there? Yeah. Okay, but well, don't let it get out. Yeah. Uh, hold him down. Hold him down. Get his, Let's say get he him. <laughs> he swam back there to Cooper. <laughs> I got... Oh my gosh. Put okay. your foot on his face. Okay, we're hooked up. We're good. I think we need to tie it. No. Oh, that was a big one. We, just, oh, we got one. What? We got another one. Another uh, one. I, I'm going to keep on... Okay, is he still on there? Yeah. Oh yeah, stopped. he's still there. He, okay, we gotta get over here quick before he gets off. Is that a catfish? I dude, think, that's a big one, Cooper. I think it's a channel. Oh my gosh, dude, that's Hurry, a huge one. To break the it's a huge one. They're loaded in here. We need a net. Oh, he's good. He's hooked good. He's hooked good. He's hooked good. We're going he's, through. A, he's a humongous one. I can tell by his face. Okay, here we go. Ready? Yeah. Ready, guys? One, two, three. Ah! <laughs> I broke off in the boat. Yes! What? We still have this fish back there. This is the hot zone right here. You still got that one? Yep. Okay, yep. we've got two catfish. Him, two catfish. Two catfish. I like him. He's not that pokey. Okay, we got one. Let me see the other fish. You got the other fish, guys? Yep. Okay, let's see him. He's not acting that crazy. Okay, we got our second catfish. 
All right, so we just got this one rebated up. Oh my Still God. haven't been able to check out the one that broke, but I think since we've had all of our action in this spot, we're gonna bait up our last remaining yo-yos in this area and try to maximize, you know, the chances of catching fish in the spot since it definitely seems like there's some here. That's crazy. Cooper heard that one go off. That was awesome. I know why we have good luck. Why is that? Because a, like the dragonflies landed on you three times. You know what? What? There might be some truth to that. I think you're right about that. <laughs> Dragonfly, anytime an insect lands on you, that is good luck, I think. Oh my gosh! Look at that. Guys, they got a big fish! I think it's another it's catfish. Alive. Hopefully it doesn't come off. It's a big please, one. Please, I want it to eat. I think that's the one we just caught that last one on. Or it's close to it. He is barely hooked by the whisker. Oh, we might lose this one. Oh, I hope we don't lose this one. Yep, we not. Please. He's a pretty guy. Oh my gosh, he's pretty. He's pretty. I got him. He started... Oh, he came off. We got him. Woo! Woo, that was crazy. Wow, that was crazy. Sorry guys, the camera got all stuck up in the tree branch and the fish was literally hooked by his whisker. Just barely hung on and he, swung, he swam into our stringer of fish and he got stuck on there. And uh, as I grabbed him, he just popped right off. I know it was a little bit watery, but that's what happened. Look at that, guys. Okay, we got our fourth catfish strung up. They're kind of tangled up. Look at him. Oh. I think if we can get one or two more, we'll be in business. I think four is a great number though. Like if we don't catch any more, we've got plenty to eat, I think. What do y'all think? No. You don't think four is enough? Cooper's going to eat one, I'm going to eat one, you're going to eat one, Jay's going to eat That's one. four. Sai's going to eat one. Sai probably is going to eat like a half of one. So technically, Sai. Okay, so we need one more, are you saying? You nope, we need ten more. Oh, that one there is shaking. We caught one off that tree earlier. And that one there shot up. This is the, oh gosh, watch out for the stops. We good? We good? Yeah, we good. good. There's one bouncing on that one. Look at that. That might be a big one because we can't see his head. Normally when they're small, their heads are up. And that one there is the one that broke. And where's that one at? Oh my gosh, we got fish everywhere. Oh, there's a big one over there, guys. Go get it. Okay, we got one right here first though. Okay, we've got two fish hooked up for sure. Two fish hooked up for sure. This is gonna be, if we land both these, we're gonna have six catfish in the boat. Okay. <laughs> pull it up, pull it up guys, pull it up. Get in the boat, oh, he came off. No, we lost him. We still got another one over there. And actually that one there broke our yo-yo. This one here's messed up now, look at that. Okay, well, unfortunately that last one came off right at the boat. We almost got him, but we got a nice catfish right here. I forgot to it's one number five. This is gonna be number five. This will be number five if we can get him. I'm just gonna grab him. Oh, no, I'm not. Uh, he's barely on there. No, please don't. I got him. Yes, number five. <laughs> there we go. Fish number five. All these fish are kind of the same size, like two pounds or so. That's a bit. Yeah. Let's see if he's a eat big eater. Yep, he's a big eater. A big eater? <laughs> he's got he's a, a chunky belly. That's number five. It's number five. And I bet you. We're gonna have to check their tummies and see if they're really good. Eaters. Yeah, and I bet you by the time we make our way back over there to the yo-yos on that I side at the swamp, we'll probably have another one. What do you think? And we have those yo-yos over there are all like shot up. So like there's been some catfish like feasting on these shad. They are like really eating them. They're going crazy. Okay, let's take a look at our total. It's all twisted up. I can't. Oh, oh gosh, that's a mess. They're going everywhere. Well, we'll show you all all of our catch once we uh, get them all untangled here in a little bit. Yeah. But we've then got. We get back home. But we got five. We almost. I think we have enough. No, we don't. We need. All. We need to catch all of them, don't we? All the catfish in this lake need to be in our boat, don't they? Yep. We need all of them. We would, we would be the catfish world record, maybe. I can't tell if that one's got one or if it's just the wind blowing it. Let's go catch. Yeah, let's rebate this one and we'll go check it out. It's kind of bouncing weird. Oh, that's what was that? We got one, we got one, we got one, we got one, big one, big one, big one, big one, big one. Where, 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 giant, where? right up here, if where? he's still on there. There's a giant up here. Where? Up here, look, he's on the yo-yo. That's that one we missed twice. He's on there, we got him. Oh well, actually, no, it's the other one. That one there's popped up again. We had this one here that's popped up like four times and we missed it every time, but this one here is on. And he's big. Stay on there. Is that a catfish? Oh yeah, dude, give me some, give me some, give me some, give me some, we're slamming them. We are slamming them. I, I don't know how many catfish we that, need. That's we number, need that's number six. Oh, he's splashing. I bet it's Jeffrey, I bet his name's Jeffrey. What do you think? Yeah, let's name him. That's Jeffrey the catfish. We got Jeffrey. If we can just land him. But Jeffrey's going to get eaten. Jeffrey might get eaten if we land him. Okay, just grab it. Wait, just grab the line and swing yeah. him in the boat. 
Swing in the boat. In the boat. In the boat. In the boat. Yeah, let's go. Good job. First IV catfish. That's your first yo yo catfish you landed. Here, hold him up. He's big. That is another <laughs> awesome eaten size can I, can channel I, catfish. Can I see his tummy? Yeah, yeah. feel it. Tummy. <laughs> tummy time. Yep, is he a eater? Good eater? He's a good eater. Good eater. His bones are hard. His, his bones are hard. Grab the next one. Yeah. Okay. That sounded a little bit. Ah! That sounded a little bit better. He got his wet. Water in my eye. Yeah, you might get some parasites now. Oh, we got one up here, Cooper. We got one. It's number seven. Cooper, you see the fish? Yep. I see his head. Where is it? Where is He's it? right there. He's a good one. Oh my gosh. He's big. That might be the biggest one. Number seven looks like the biggest one. No joke. Seven years old. He's barely hooked, Cooper. Yep, I know. Uh, how about Cole grabs this one? I think Cooper could do it. You're going to grab the line right here, really low, and you're just going to lift it up really gently into the boat, okay? <gasps> oh, my god. Okay, gosh. you got it? We you think you can do it? Bigly. Nice and easy. In the boat. In the boat. Oh, don't let him splash. Okay, you got it. Quick, in the boat. In the boat. In the boat. Whoa! 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 We got him! Oh, man, he almost came off. Did you see how close that hook came out? Look at that. That fish is barely hooked. Dude, good job, Cooper. Cooper, is that a good eater? Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's squishy. Oh Look at the spots. God. How many spots do you think he has? A thousand. A thousand? <laughs> All right, so that is catfish number seven, and that's honestly one of our biggest ones of the day. <laughs> he's kind of pooping a little bit. Look at that poop. Ew, ew, ew. Look at the poop. Ew. He's pooping ew. on you. He's a poop quack. on you. He's a poop on you. <laughs> Cooper caught a poopy fish. <laughs> he'll probably He'll probably taste good, though. Do y'all see any back there? These yo-yos are going off like crazy. Y'all, y'all having fun? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I think you should. I think you should just name this one Poopy. Yeah, I'll name it. Name him Poopy. Oh my gosh, he's pooping a lot. He is he's pooping, pooping a lot. He's pooping. Poopy is pooping. He got. He got to get that all out before we eat him. All right. I don't even know how many are on here now. That's seven catfish, and it looks like a storm is starting to brew out that way. You oh. see those clouds? Yeah. Oh yeah. We're gonna have to get all of them. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to head in pretty soon. Because yeah, we're gonna have to get them all. It's, we're definitely expecting to have some more um, inclement weather, but we're we need expecting to, to at least have two more fishes to get. But we gotta catch two more fishes, huh? Yeah, or well, 14. Or 14? <laughs> or like, like 10 50. more. Or 50. Or, or 1,000. Y'all are some greedy fishermen. But, you know. We can keep, I think we can keep 30 technically. We got ourselves another fish hooked up here in this little corridor of cypress trees that we just rebaited just a moment ago. Oh, here we go. Whose turn is it to grab one? Mine. Your turn, you got to grab on this other side over here. Because Cooper was poopy. Cooper had poopy? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, we're crashing. He's barely hooked, Ivy. I think we, he's bare, I think we can't, we can't swing him. We're gonna have to grab him. I think I'm gonna have to grab this one. Because if we swing it, I think he'll come off. But we might have another one up here, though. So I'm just gonna grab him. Ready? Oh, shoot. Ready? Oh, gosh. Ah! Okay, well, he's, see how he's barely hooked right there? He's hooked right there, literally in the whisker. I don't know how we got him. Look at that. I don't know how he stayed on Look at that. How did that catfish stay on there? Hooked right in the whisker. But look at that right there, guys. It's crazy how all these fish are like the exact same size. Except like, the big one. Except for the big one that broke the tree. That was a monster. Or the big one that was poopy. Or poopy was a pretty big one. This one here. Oh, he's poopy. Poopy Junior. Look at him. He's pooping. Another poopy one. Ew. Ew. That's <laughs> that. cold. That's that. cold. That's cold. <laughs> oh, we got a turtle. Oh, no. We got a turtle. Yay, turtle. We got to save the turtle. Yeah, save the turtle. We got the turtle. Oh, no. That is not what we wanted to catch. It's okay, we're gonna save him. I wanna slip back to <laughs> He said, I want out of here. He said, I want it some shad. Hey, okay, okay, here we go. We well, got our turtle. That shad. Hey, buddy, hey, he's hey. not hooked too bad. No. Okay, he's unhooked and he can have a shad. He's still got a shad. You okay? hooked me. Okay, so, um, is that hooked in your head? No, it's in your hair. Woo, I thought I hooked you in the head. That was almost bad. We got this turtle. I'm gonna toss the turtle back. He has, Ivy, you have a hook in your head. There we go, I got it. Okay, we got the hook out of your head. It was just in your hair, but it was almost like pretty bad. All right, there's our turtle. He almost caused Ivy to get a hook in her head, but we're okay. You wanna let him go? Wait, will he bite me? He might scratch you. Oh no. You okay? Okay, here we go. Let him go. Hey, Sorry hey, about buddy. it. Got you, Dad. Sorry about that. I don't know why we haven't caught anything. 
Oh, there's a fish on this one. There's a fish on this one. There's a fish Can on this one. Can I get it? Yeah. Wait, Where'd it go? Noodle? Yeah. Noodle. Watch out. I just I don't know where it went. It's underneath the kayak. Oh my gosh, that that red one's underneath the kayak. Where's it at? Is it stuck underneath the kayak? We have one on that red one. No joke. Oh, there's a bass. What's that bass doing? Oh, it's on our noodle. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. Oh my gosh. Someone grab it. Oh, it's a bass. Grab it, Cooper. Grab it. Grab it. Oh, it's a bass. Grab it. Grab it, Cooper. Oh. Where's the noodle? Where it went. I don't either. We caught a bass. First oh. bass. First bass. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Grab the line. Grab the line. Got, Got it. it. Grab it in the boat. Storm in the boat. Storm in the boat. Got yeah. it. Yeah. Let's go. We needed a bass. We got a bass on the noodles. This is mine. I'm eating this bat boy. Look at that. I've it's never, my fish. I've never, I've never caught a bass on a pool noodle before. And those were dead <laughs> shed. Look at that. Can I those tummy? Yeah. But keep this bass, yeah. you're gonna eat it? I'm not. Yep. You'll eat it? Yep. Okay, I'll keep it if you'll eat it. Yep. You're gonna eat the bass? Okay, Ivy wants to eat the bass. <laughs> I've never tried bass before. He's not the he's not the best looking specimen, but um, I'll try him. I bet he'll be all right. We'll cut the sides off and he'll be good. Look at that. If I don't like him, I bet Cole would eat him. We were just talking about how we have not caught anything on the pool noodle. I just happened to just go right next to that one and it shot down underneath the kayak and it got stuck. Sad. That was crazy. I was getting so sad for a minute <laughs> that we were not going to get anything on the pool noodle. I know, but hey, it worked out. That's a nice little like. It should be a two pounder, but it's probably a pound and a half -er, But he'll yeah, probably eat good. Back here with me. Uh, we're gonna put him on the stringer. Okay, guys. So um, fortunately for us, we've actually got the troll motor working again. But we're not gonna test our luck. We're actually going to head back into the house. But before we do, we gotta show you guys our catch of the day. Look at this. Look at this stringer <laughs> of catfish. That is so crazy. <laughs> We caught them so good. I mean, compared to like the last time we came out here, we did not catch anything. But I think that the shad and the yo-yos were definitely the ticket today. What do y'all think? Think they did good? Yeah. They did really good. And you caught that crazy bass on the noodle. That was awesome. He was, it's the first bass. It was the first bass of the day. And it was a nice one. Nice enough to go on the stringer. But I think we have like eight catfish, one bass. And we only let one get away. And that was a heavy stringer. We got some meat. So we're gonna head back to the house. We're gonna get them cleaned up it's really quickly. Out. Anyways, I can't ask for a better time out here catching fish, but it's time to head in. We'll see you guys back at the house. Didn't we bait some yo-yos out here? We forgot about it, didn't we? Oh. Guys, okay. the yo-yo. We got one out there too. We have a fish on that yo-yo. I'm not kidding. There's a fish on that yo-yo. We forgot oh about gosh. We forgot about them. There's a catfish on that yo-yo. I forgot all oh, about that. We had baited more. Oh, there's one on that one too. No way! We gotta, we gotta go get them. Uh, uh, we gotta uh, get them. We gotta get. We were done about all these. We I were. Pull this one up. We were done, and we have two more catfish. We have to go get them. Now we can pull the second one. Yep. I'm going. You gonna get this one right here? Okay. <laughs> oh my, this is the best. That was so. That's a big one. Cooper's got that one over there. Yeah. We got. Oh, we got a turtle. We got another turtle. Where? On that one. There. We got fish everywhere. And one over there. And we got like three fish, just a total eye on that one. We got two turtles today. We got it. Okay, in the boat. That's a big one. Oh my yes! gosh, biggest Whoa! of the day. Look at that. I think I got the biggest of the day. That might Yours? be. Look no, at that. Not named Poopy. Not Wait, named let's Poopy. Let's see if he's poopy. See if he's pooping? Yeah. Okay. I hope he's not. Is he pooping? Nope. Okay, I'm just gonna throw this one up here and we're gonna get the other ones really fast. Oh! Oh my gosh, he's about to break oh. that bait. Oh, he's splashing. Uh, uh, hurry, hurry. I'm going as fast as I can. I just noticed my troll motor has, is missing a part of the prop. <laughs> it's kind of broken. What are you doing? We have to hurry. It's big. We're hurrying. Okay, you're ready. Yeah. In the boat. Yeah, Cooper, let's go. What's Look at that. My, mine's bigger. Yours is a little bit bigger. Look at that. <laughs> Two nice ones though. Good job, guys. High five. Okay, so I think it's only fair that since y'all got the last two fish that I get the last turtle. What do you think? Is that fair? Is that fair? Oh, he's hooked in the leg. What? That's good. He's just hooked in the leg. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, good. that's not too bad. Oh, gosh. He's a heavy. He's a heavy one. Oh, he's a baby. Look how dark he is. Oh, what kind of turtle is he? He's a map turtle. Look at that. Look how map turtle. Map turtle. Map turtle. Okay, there's our last little creature that we're gonna catch today. A nice little map turtle. Luckily, he was just hooked barely in the leg. Ivy wants to do the honors, letting him go. He's a little mossy. All right, say be free. Be free. 
There he goes. I'm sure he appreciates that. Okay, well, that was a lot of fun. That's all I have to say about that. We've been at it now for like three hours probably. Are you okay? You good? Okay, we've got plenty of catfish to go around. We're gonna uh, get back to the house and we'll see you guys when we get there.